Hello, everybody. Glenn is ready to get messy. That's not a question. <laughs> says, ready to get messy. <laughs> That's awesome. I still don't see comments. I don't know why. Um, oh. oh, there we go. Hello, ladies. How are you? Are you all tired from that big bad sale? <laughs> we, we ended a half an hour early trying to get a little bit of time. Hey, Gigi. Hey, Glennis. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Jen. Hi, Hi Tony. Joan, Hi, Christy. Christy and Jen. Jen we I miss really y'all too. Changing your name. <laughs> What's Hi, that? I really got to talk to Jen about changing her name. <laughs> I love it. But I think she should have a poo related uh, name change every week. You know, or, or a, a pink hating uh, uh, name change every week. I mean, not a poo. Doesn't have to be all about poo. poo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> change the poo, keep the pink hate. I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kim. Um, Sharon Southpaw is Kim. Hi, Don. Hi, Kim. <laughs> hey, Kathy. Funny. Hey, Dawn. Um, let's see. Yes. Ta-da. Ta -da. Yeah, really. <laughs> I love the name, too. I, I do. I hate to say it. Jen the Pooh Slinger. So <laughs> we actually have a fig tree out back. And uh, so far, uh, no, no figs. It's been a weird year so far. But that wouldn't be until later in the summer. However, Bill found one on the ground the other day. And, and I, I was talking to him about how I'm allergic when I go to pick the figs. So I said, you're going to be the pig picker, uh, uh, a fig picker from now on. Sorry. And, I, and we both stopped. And I said, yeah, you dirty fig picker. <laughs> you dirty, dirty fig picker. That's so, hilarious. Because my I break out in a in in a rash when I put mm. just touch the leaves. It's yeah. really funny. Yeah. So we decided that's his name now. That's funny. Hello, Candy. <laughs> that is funny. Hi, Candy. Hi, Candy. Looks like it got the kitchen cleaned up just in time. Um, Sharon, I am hearing myself twice. Uh, let me go. I don't know why. I have anything open. I thought I. I don't have anything. anything else open. Even my phone isn't uh, open right now. My phone is got off nothing. right now. Yeah. Got nothing there. I've got a document I open. I don't have a volume on my um, on my or a microphone or volume. I'm sorry, a speaker on my camera, mm -hmm. my webcam. It's just my uh, laptop that's open to StreamYard. Mm -hmm. I don't have even a second page uh, tab with uh, Facebook or anything. Mm -hmm. That is really weird. Hmm. I don't know why. We got some of that last week and it would come and go, hi, Deb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had some of that last time and it would come and go and come and go. And that's just strange. I'm a little blurry. What? Are you sure it's not just a um, light reflecting uh, on? Yeah, I think it yeah. is. Here, let me move that. I put this here because it's a good surface. It's kind of, uh, it's a really thin craft foam. And I thought it would be good underneath uh, just to protect my um, uh, cutting mat because I don't want to stain it. Mm -hmm. And I don't have do a have, silicone mat yet. Do, do you have glass? I do. I actually have a piece of glass here. I really need to clean. Yeah, I mean, I a big, a big one, mat. but you could use as your. I do not use as your I mat. Not. Okay. You knew. No. Okay. Do um, so I actually am just taping whatever down to this to work on with the alcohol ink, but we have lots of experiments planned for you, ladies. Yes. And if we have any gentlemen, do. you too, I guess. <laughs> um yeah things we haven't tried that we decided that we wouldn't try anything that we would just experiment with you in front of you so that you could see um what works what doesn't work how it works maybe and we, we can't learn a new media if we don't practice you gotta yeah. practice yeah i want to be comfortable with it it's okay lay down yeah um, so 
I know, I mean, I'm not even well versed in the alcohol ink and I, I, uh, None of us are, I don't think. Thing to me, and I think a lot of us feel like it's something we want to learn more about so we can learn together. And I like that idea. Yeah, me too. Um, why not? And I'd love to practice with you and, you know, we'll get better at it and it'll be fun. And, um, I would, I, I would like to point out for like the Margies out there that are thinking, I don't know what I would do with that afterwards because I have enough papers or for wh whoever, you know, uh, feels that way. Um, there's lots of things you can do with the papers that you're done when we're done with them. So um, just keep that in mind and it's totally worth it. I mean, you can always, if worst case, run them through your, um, your die cutting machine and uh, make some pretty, you know, it, that was an ugly piece of paper and now I have a pretty monarch butterfly. So uh, just because it's orange, you know, so there's lots of things you can do with them. That was a really ugly failure of a green um, and look at it now. Until with you the, cut it out. Yeah. Good. And now good it's numbers. beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So oh um, there's always things you can do with them. And uh, there's there's lots and lots more. But, and it's not just about paper tonight. But um, there's things we can do with them. That is all. So can I start by saying, Candy put in the group today the ranger alcohol ink um swatch chart so that you could print it out if you would like it this is what it looks like i would print it out on regular on on paper on paper paper not on a plastic substance um, i printed it out just on a, a thicker not a heavy card stock but I'll say a light card stock a heavy copy paper a light card stock and what is really cool about it Look at all these perfect little circles on here. Do you know how I got those? I dropped one drop of alcohol ink and one drop of alcohol ink makes a perfect circle on its own. It's absolutely amazing. And when it's on porous paper, because the paper absorbs it and then it spreads, it wicks out as far as it's gonna go. So you can tell where I didn't drop it in the center of the square. <laughs> or I dropped it in the wrong square accidentally. That's a cool chart. It's a great way to get yeah. everybody to buy every color because they don't want because they want a bingo, right? Yeah. That probably <laughs> was that probably was their intent. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, it probably was. All. I want you guys to see my collect my alcohol ink collection. That's the entire thing. Do you see well, that? You've got a few more sitting in my house. But yeah, but you don't have to have a lot of them no. to. Really, all, you need, all you need is one to be able to right. experiment and play. And if you've got two, you can do some things with different colors, but there you really is don't need a whole bunch. One other uh, thing that I have, and that's computer uh, printer ink in bottles that are like liquid bottles. Um, I, I got them for like a couple bucks at a thrift store. Mm. And I think they would work the same, but I haven't played with those yet. That's another day. Are they alcohol based? I don't know anything. Yes, about they the are. Okay, cool. Then that would be cool. Hi, Christy. Uh, and hi, Suze. I so um, part of part of the reason for doing this is one, when you're going to buy more, you and you make sure you're not buying something you already have. Because I can see at a glance my empty spots, what colors I don't have. See, you want a bingo, don't you? Uh, no, I just want them all. <laughs> I want a blackout. But the other thing is when you're looking for a color or a couple of colors to work with, instead of having to drop a drop of each of them, a waste to drop of each one and go through, you can take this and look at it and say, oh, there's six or eight different blues there. Which blue do I want? You know, do I want it lighter? Like, I don't know how, uh, look at this. This is aquamarine right here. That was one of the colors that didn't sell immediately today. Look at that gorgeous color. That's one of my favorite blues. That and is cool. sailboat blue is another one. I think I have so that pretty. one. Sailboat yes, blue is right here. one of the most popular ones. Yeah. So um, I can look at that to decide what color blue I want to use instead of, you know, having to try a whole bunch of them or guess, is this going to go together? Yeah, I think that's great. Yeah, citrus. I can look at it and go, ooh, is how bright and shiny and neon is citrus? 
oh, oh, that's not, okay, that's a good color. So it's really a whole lot easier. And then the second page in there is the alcohol pearls. And you can put your pearls, there's 12 pearls, you can put them on here. What I want you to notice on here, on each one, let's see if I can get that light away just a little bit, okay. On each I wonder one- I didn't make the pearls part of the other chart. Um, because I don't know. And why they're so big. There's another one, yeah, because there's only 12 of them and so it took up the whole page. Um, huh. I don't know. But on each one of these, I put three drops of pearls down. And you can see, I put the three drops like in a, in a triangle kind of together. And you can see that they do, you know, kind of merge together and, and grab, but they don't spread and make the perfect circle that a drop of alcohol ink will. Yeah. And that's because of the pigment in them. Uh -huh. But it gives you a real good opportunity to see exactly the pearl essence and the shine that you'll get. And then you can think about if I take that and I use it with one of these others, I'll get this color with this kind of shine running through it. That's the look I'm going for. You know, that's yeah. kind of cool, that kind of thing. Um, I've got another one that I put this little heavier, light cardstock, but heavier paper in and printed those out when I did it, um, the alloy one. I was out of this piece, this type. So it printed on regular paper. So I want to reprint it on just a little heavier to put the alloys down. There's not as many alloys. Um, Lucy, it's oh, okay. it's okay. <laughs> protecting Big, me. Mark. Hi, Deb. You just got the new prize ribbon. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, I think that's a gorgeous color. I really do. Hi, that is cool. say hi to everybody. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi, friends. <laughs> Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you. So, so some of the things you might want to have out. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, I was just going to say, so these are in the group, in the files. Candy put them there today. If you would like to uh, print them out, they'll be there. They'll be there to stay. Um, some of the things you might want to have out, and I, I would like to, I'll tell you about this in a second. Q-tips, uh, hand uh, sanitizer I got out. Um, because there's a little experiment with that and uh, alcohol. Um, you don't have to have all these things, just, you know, a, just to select some um, alcohol in like a spray bottle and in a dropper, if you have both. Um, I couldn't find my felt in the, in the rear range. So um, I'm going to try magic eraser because that's what experiment's all about. I'm going to use this stylus to make marks with and a toothbrush to make marks with. I have a brayer and let's see, um, a paintbrush that I'm, a synthetic paintbrush that I'm willing to use on alcohol inks. But you might want, you know, like a paper towel and. Um, that's a good point. When you use, you can paint with alcohol inks and you can move them around with a paintbrush. When you use a paintbrush, be sure that you use a synthetic paintbrush. It will destroy the natural bristles of a natural bristles brush. Let me answer Julie's question. Julie, you said, what is alloy paper? There, it's not alloy paper. You have, in fact, this is probably a really good place to start. Are they both here? All right. So you've got alcohol inks. They say alcohol ink. And then you've got alcohol pearls. And they say pearl on them. And then you've got mixatives. And then you've got, oh, those are patinas. Where's my alloys? There's my alloys. And then you've got alloys. Okay, so you've got the inks, the pearls, the mixatives, and the alloys. And the reason they're given different names is because they have different properties and they do different things. So alloy this is what the alloy is. The paper is not alloy. It was just um, printing out the chart that said alcohol alloys so that I could drop the alloy colors on there. But what's the difference in alcohol ink, um, pearls, mixatives, and alloys? And you'll see as we're as we're experimenting tonight, you'll see a lot. And we're gonna we're gonna try a bunch of things just to see what works and what doesn't. But here's the bottom line: alcohol ink is solvent based and 
um, instead of just saying ink, we do keep saying alcohol ink because it's important that you always remember that because it's solvent based, it is only reactive to alcohol, not water, like your, um, yeah, yeah, like your watercolor paints um, or your water based inks are reactive to water if they dry. You can come back and, and get your brush wet and put it on it and it will reactivate, um, you know, the water paint or ink or uh, uh, whatever it is that you're working with that's water-based. It'll reactivate it. These will not react to water at all because they are uh, solvent-based. So you can let it dry on whatever you're working on. Say I put it on the glass here. If I didn't use it all up, I can let it dry and then when I come back next time, I could take a brush, dip it in alcohol and start working with it again. And the alcohol reactivates it just like the water reactivates the, the paint. So solvent, that's the difference in solvent-based and water-based. Because it is solvent-based and alcohol-based, the uh, alcohol ink dries very quickly. Um, Tim Holtz says it dries in seven to 10 seconds. Um, I have found it to dry extremely quickly, like, you know, 10 seconds. There are some surfaces, maybe it'll take 15. And if it's super thick and you want to leave it super thick and it can't spread anywhere, maybe it'll take a little longer. But just like alcohol in your skin or if you use alcohol to clean a surface, it's going to um, evaporate and dry very, very quickly. Um, it's, you might have heard people say that there's glycerin in these and you can add glycerin and do different things. Uh, according to Tim Holtz, there is no glycerin in them. No glycerin at all. And adding glycerin to them is not um, a good idea. It will not do what you hope it will do, he says. Um, um, Southpaw right? Studio is Kim, correct? Correct. I was going to uh, answer her question asking about sealing yeah. when you're done okay. or don't need to. You, sh okay. you should seal uh if it's if it's a project that's not you know like in your art journal or whatever if you're if you're in your art journal you're using alcohol ink and you're gonna add something else to it later that could possibly reactivate it um which there aren't many things then yes seal it use a clear um spray uh acrylic spray sealer and that's just in the spray paint aisle. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. You just mm -hmm. get whatever, and uh, uh, it's it'll only cost you a few bucks. That's it. Yep. Uh, but if you don't if you don't think that you're gonna add anything more to it that could have any solvent in it, then you probably don't need to worry about it. If you are doing a uh, piece of art, say you do, um, say you do an alcohol ink painting. And there are some really cool demonstrations on YouTube of people doing alcohol ink paintings and working on them for a long time to get exactly what they want. And then you want to maybe map that and frame it and hang it. I would seal that because um, the sun and the heat and uh, different things getting on it um, as it dries, um, even you know rubbing it and touching it, different things like that can affect it and, and change just like any other painting. Yes, so it can yellow as well. Painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it I will would, yellow. Yeah, um, if in it, if it's that for sure. Exposed. So yeah. if this if it doesn't have glycerin in it and it's solvent base, what does it have? It has a resin in it. The resin is designed to bond to non-porous surfaces. So if you put it on a porous surface, and this paper is a perfect example, and that's exactly why I chose paper, because I wanted it to just soak in. It was like dropping a drop of alcohol. It just soaks into the paper. The alcohol dries and the pigment stays. Um, I wanted it to, to do that. But if you're doing a piece of art and you want the alcohol to move so that you can move the color and create something cool, then you want a non-porous surface. And the resin... Okay. That's in these, yeah, the resin that's in them is designed to bond to non-porous surfaces. So the blending solution, the alcohol blending solution, this is the exact same thing as alcohol ink without the color. It's, it's the exact same thing without the color. Um, it, has, it has a resin base in it that makes it bond to those non-porous surfaces. Uh, before I forget, there's been a couple questions that have come to me th during the week 
And one of the ones that I do want to address is um, how do you move it? You can use the puffer tool. Sharon and I have two different kinds of puffer tools. That this we'll is for photography in. and there are only a few bucks. That's yep. it. And this and, is the Tim Holt yeah. um, puffer tool. Um, it's got a, a, a wide opening, a big hole there so that it moves lots of air, but you can control it by how much and how hard and how fast you squeeze it. And you can also move it with a hair dryer. And I say or a heat tool or blow dryer as opposed to heat tool because you want something that has air movement. That it will depends on a cheap alcohol. if your air tool is cheap, it'll have more blow to it. Like it'll be more like a blow dryer. Or if it's one of the low heat uh heating drying tools in in lieu of not the Tim Holtz because that's a little bit different. Right. Uh, if well, it's just a, a cheaper version yeah. of it, you're going to have more airflow. Well, let me show like these two. This one, you know, as the heat tool, like for embossing that we emboss with. And the purpose of it is not to blow air because you don't want to blow embossing powder all over the place. You want the heat that will melt the embossing powder quickly and bond it. And so that's a heat tool. Um, uh, something with a blower that moves air this might get hot, but it doesn't get as hot, but it blows a lot of air. It's got a, it's a fan, it's a wind going. And in order to move the alcohol, you must have wind. You must have something that's blowing in order to move it. Once you've got it where you want it, if you want it to stay there and dry really quickly, you can use the heat tool over it to make it dry quickly and bond right there. So the difference is your blow, anything that blows, which is why I say blow dryer, blow gun, whatever you want to call it, but anything that blows is going to help you move it. Anything that heats is going to help you set it. Turkey so baster will work. However, the hole is very wide. Mm -hmm. So it's going to blow air in more of a wider channel. That's a cool experiment more, though. More, um, uh, precise blowing. I hope somebody's using it. Nib. Yeah, I hope somebody's using it. Now, um, the hole on Sharon's is probably the smallest because it's intended for photography and you want to get in very specific. And it's a nice blast too. And blow dust out of cameras. cameras. This one is a little larger because you want, I want, um, you know, a little bit larger area of, of wind and air movement. And a turkey baster would be even larger than this one. I think that would be a great experiment. I it hope would be somebody's fun. trying it because I'd like to see how it moves. It. I didn't even think of that. I might go get one. I might run out to the kitchen. You we can use a straw, it. but it's a little bit dangerous just because but, you wouldn't want yeah. to breathe back in through that straw and get a, yeah. you might get a little lightheaded. <laughs> That's where, where I was going with that was the straw. Yeah. <laughs> if you are using a straw tonight because you don't have a hair dryer handy, a blow dryer handy, it does not have to be a craft blow dryer. You can use your hair dryer from the bathroom. Breathe but if through you your are, Yeah, if you are using a straw, please be very, very careful. And, you know, that you only blow out, that you don't take anything in. Here's the thing. If you take alcohol ink into your lungs, remember what I said that it has in it resin. that is designed to bond to non-porous surfaces. It has resin. And if you breathe that resin in, that resin will bond to the inner lining of your lungs. So you really, really do not want to breathe that in. And that's why I said, I told a couple people, you can make do with a straw tonight. You'll just need to be very, very careful. I wouldn't plan on using a straw all the time, though, no. um, because it is dangerous. I'm just that one time that you're not totally focused or something distracts you or your mind goes off on something else and you breathe in while your mouth is still right there by the straw. I mean, I would blow out and then pull your mouth away, away, turn your head and then breathe in. If you happen to breathe in right by the straw, you chance drawing in that resin into your lungs. And we know we got enough issues to affect our yeah. lungs. We don't need to add resin to it. Ah. <laughs> uh, some other surfaces you might want to try tonight would be a uh, photo paper. Uh, we all know that one uh, if you don't have Yupo, but it doesn't always work. But the, I do have an idea about an experiment we might try. Um, mm -hmm. You can use uh, wallpapers, usually a uh, non-porous surface because it's meant to be wiped down. 
So there are a lot of wallpapers that are non-porous and you could literally stick it down to some cardstock and have yourself a canvas. Um, or uh, perhaps some of the papers that, uh, some craft papers that are like metallic. I'm gonna see what I can do with this tonight and if I can cover up that ultimate sparkle there. Um, and then I also have these that I pre-pasted ahead of time and they are, just so we know which works, um, I wrote on them, there's clear gesso and this is just on a, on a uh, note like card. paper or, oh, okay, like a three Yeah, card. clear gesso, mm -hmm. jet, regular white gesso. Um, I did a few of those ones because, you know, I might want a couple tries. That's a clear gesso. Soft gel medium, mm -hmm. which is a golden soft gel medium that I have that comes in a tub. And it's um, it's thicker than Mod Podge. Uh, mm -hmm. Mod Podge would be one of them. Um, that's acrylic medium. And just think about the different glues that you have. Oh, and I put crackle on photo paper to mm -hmm. see the difference, to see if it works, because I'm curious. I put it on pretty thick, too. Um, and then I also have these. I want to show you real quick here. I have heavy gel medium. It's mm -hmm. gold. And then I have the soft uh, gel matte medium from Golden that's also, it's pretty thick. And what I did was I ran it through a stencil. That one, the stencil had some vintage photo on it. Check that out. But it's raised. So we want to ran it through an embossing folder or a stencil? Yeah, or not. A, it threw it over a stencil. It was ran over a stencil. Oh, with the paste. So okay. I, I put the stencil down and then I used a credit oh. card and uh, ran the two different, um, you know, it's like molding paste, but right. I mean, over the stencil paste. on top of the paper. On top of the paper, right. Yeah. So okay. what it is, is it made this texture and I want to see the difference between how the uh, alcohol ink adheres to the photo paper and then how it uh, reacts to the um, the texture on there. Because mm -hmm. I think it's, I think it's going to do something pretty cool. So that's what these are. And then I embossed some too with embossing, like uh, embossing machine mm -hmm. uh, on photo paper to see what we can do. All right. You guys want to play? I brought some vellum. I have some pieces of vellum. I might have to tape some of these down with um, washi tape because some of them are, are curved. They've been rolled. Um, this is, some of you got some vinyl, that those vinyl mats from me that you could uh, put over your table to protect it. Nice, thick, heavy vinyl. This is that vinyl. I want to see what it'll do on that vinyl. That'll be nice. I also totally uh, forgot I have white vinyl of uh, uh, fake leather upholstery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would work, too. Leather, leather. I brought some tin foil. i to try some stuff on that. Yeah, I have uh, those. I brought a piece of china that I want to play on. This is um, just Noritake china. I mean, this came from Goodwill. I got it so I could use it as a palette. It's a fairly small one. Um, I brought some metal things because we know, <laughs> let's see, I'm so, I know, Sherry, you probably have as well some, like some, uh, oh, some safety pins or bulb pins or little metal yes. things like that, that we're going to do some things yes. on. Um, I brought some, some metal, uh, sheets like this, both, uh, silver and gold to see what will happen on the, there. I used foil tape on paper and uh, that's what these little doohickeys were on my desk and then I ran it through a thinlet with a thinlet die um, and it's a foil tape it's, oh, cool. and it's really yeah. thick uh, I, I like stuck that. it down to paper and what it's yeah. going to do I think is make some pretty charms nice I grabbed a few um, playing cards because they're kind of plastic coated and I grabbed a couple uh, black playing cards that the cult the card is plastic and the back is uh solid uh, i thought those would be fun to play on to see what the, i think the metallics or the pearls would be really pretty on that they would be so we've got that as well i'm sure cher has got some playing yes, cards sitting there too um what else did i bring i also have some plastic here um because you never oh. know 
uh, I did bring a glass bottle too and a piece of saran wrap because I want to uh -huh. get that done first and, so it can start to dry. I have um, this metal frame sitting around. It's got nothing in it. And I thought, I don't know, I might just play on it, dropping a drop of ink into these roses and just see what, see what happens. Pearl. See Ooh, what the happens. pearl. That would, wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. And if you guys don't have a non-pour surface that you like the idea of or that you, you don't you don't have any at all uh, and you want to make maybe some charms or do something fun, you could use like oh, yogurt. Oh, yeah, plastic tops. Um, yeah, to tops of stuff or plastic packaging. Like this is a yeah, giant this bakery box here. Um, oh, yeah, those are perfect. These are just, just um, yeah. acetate packaging from different things. So I grabbed a couple of acetate packaging. Um, I grabbed a piece of glass from an old frame that the frame was getting dumped. So I grabbed the glass out of it. And in doing that, I found this frame sitting there that I don't use. It's super heavy. These are like tiles in, oh, this is like a textured sand um, cement almost. It's like really heavy. But I thought, okay, that's cool, but it's just, it's kind of boring. And I thought it might be fun to play with some alcohol ink on these, even with some pearls on that too. It would be would beautiful be pearls. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be fun. Um, I do have a stylus because there's some things that you can do with stylus, as Sharon mentioned. So here's the thing. Um, you've probably seen the square blending tool from Ranger and that was really made for the alcohol ink and it comes with these little felt pads. It's just thin, cheap felt. The only reason yeah. for buying theirs, if you buy theirs is because it's already pre-cut and it's easy and ready to go, but you can use your own felt just like Sharon said before. <laughs> I've, I have um, a bunch of them cut up and I can't, yeah, I can't figure can't out where I can them. Them. You right? can also use the round one, but you do not use the blending foam like this blending foam that we use to mix our distress ink, do not use this with your alcohol ink. It is porous. It is absorbent. As soon as you put it on your alcohol ink, it's going to absorb it all and you've just wasted it. It's not going to spread. But you can take this off and you can put a thin piece of, of felt. Maybe I'll felt. do that because there's some techniques that you can do with those because you don't blend them the same as you do distress inks. I mean, the first time I saw that and I went, that's for alcohol ink. Oh, okay. Started blending. It doesn't blend. It doesn't work the same. Nothing works the same. It's its own thing. And it's, if you, if you go and try to do it and you really don't, you know, know what to do, if nobody said anything, then it's really pretty um, frustrating because you don't get any kind of, um, I don't think, I didn't get any kind of response that I wanted and wasn't sure, you know, what to do. But um, once you have some ideas of what to do and how it's supposed to react or respond, then it's a whole different ball game. So I'm just going to make my own little round one here with one of those uh, rectangle ones. And now I got a round felt. There we go. Uh, Jen said, may I make a very important thing I learned about alcohol inks? You mean you may you share or may you make it while we're making tonight? <laughs> you, may make, you may make whatever you want. You can, yeah, absolutely. Just, may you make I would a love very to important see. point? Yeah. I would love to see how you guys experiment tonight in the group. Obviously, we uh, always ask because uh, we want to see what, what yes. you're up to as well. Um, do so share with us. Yeah. What, it doesn't what have you to consider what a failure, what made any kind of interesting thing, um, post them in the group. So, you know, we may not have to try every single thing that everybody yeah. has said. And you <laughs> may think of some things to try that we didn't. And everybody wants to see, ooh, what did it do when you did that? Everybody wants to see. So yes. are there other brands of alcohol uh, inks? Yes, there is. Jacquard is a, is a popular uh -huh. one and a very good quality one. And actually, I have a whole set of Jacquard alcohol inks. They're just in a box until I get this silly room done. I got these it's cheapy the ones you can get to go with uh, for um, doing resin. And I just thought I would try them. So I just ordered some single colors and they work fine. I, I, they work exactly the yeah. same. I just ordered okay. some vintagey colors that I thought I might use. So um, I also brought, um, I got it with something and I have never used it. So I thought this is the perfect time to try it. 
This is the um, Ranger alcohol ink cardstock in black. It's kind of velvety. Um, this is the Ranger alcohol ink cardstock in sparkle. And I'd like to see if there's any difference in that and these that we have. A lot of you have these. You got these from the sales. I sent a lot of them out. I also okay, have... I don't know what barrier spray is. Do you? Uh, what's the question? Uh, share about how much I love barrier spray called Kamar. Kamar. I'm going to have to look that up because I am well, curious about um, what it is. That kind of sounds like either a sealant or if you say barrier spray, that makes me think that you spray it around the edge where you want the barrier to be and then it'll go up to that and stop. Is that the case? Hmm. And really the alcohol ink is only going to go as far as you push it. So it's not going to go, um, it's not going to go any farther. I've got some UFO here and I also brought, I don't know if there's a difference in those two UFOs. Um, where, where, where? I got one more. Oh, okay. I watched a video, um, of somebody who was using alcohol inks and they went on a search to find, um, paper to use in place of, um, Yupo because Yupo is so expensive. Yupo is a brand. Yupo is not a type of paper. It is a brand. Ranger, uh, partners with Yupo to make it in the small sizes that you see packaged with ranger it's normally purchased in very large sheets um and that's so we say yupo paper for a long time i thought it was a type of paper that tim holtz uses it's actually a brand and but but ranger has partnered with them so anyway this gal that i watched she found this oh, yes. plastic it's craft plastic yes. Um, and I will, let's see, it's graphics, G-R-A-F-I-X, graphics craft plastic. I found it on um, Amazon and it says you can use watercolor, printing, drawing, acrylic, alcohol inks, markers, oil paints, pastels, graphite, aquarelle, uh, all, yeah, all kinds of things. Anyway, um, oh, that's just repeating it in different languages. Duh. Um, and she, what I saw her do ha had some um, really good results. So I ordered a pack of that because it is substantially less expensive than alcohol ink is. I wasn't impressed with this, but we might've got a different thickness. Is yours the same brand? I believe so, but I took long since took it out of the packaging. So, oh. well, um, yeah, I did too, but you didn't keep this. No, oh, is that would no. Okay. Did that look, does that look familiar? Does it, you think that's what yours was? What yeah. It was? Familiar. Huh. Okay. Um, how many sheets were in it? Do you remember? Do you have a lot? This is 200 GSM and there's 25 sheets in here. And it was a lot less expensive than, lot less expensive than Yupo. That's all yeah. I remember at the moment. All right. Should we get, get yes. busy and we so can talk get, while we're, uh... absolutely. I'm going to cut this down a bit cause it's a little large to use. So I'm going to move some of these other things over. I'm going to make sure I have some washi to tape some things down if they are rounded. A huge roll of butcher paper. Butcher paper is great to put over your desk. Um, butcher paper, if you turn it over, well, let's see. I'm thinking on the one side, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm thinking on the one side that it would absorb it and then it would stop before it came out the other side because the other side is kind of plasticky. There's so different wondering... kinds of butcher paper. That's true. If you turn it over and use the kind of plasticky side, um, then you have a non-porous surface and could, yeah, that'd be cool. That's a good idea. Yupo is plastic. Yeah, that's exactly, Trudy. This is plastic paper. Uh, yeah. Yupo, Yupo is a brand. It is not a type. It is a brand of paper, and it's a plastic paper. And this is just a different brand of plastic paper that is less expensive. So I'm going to try it tonight and see what I get. But I'm going to cut it down first because it's awfully large. It's 12 by 12. It's a little too large to work on, and unless the piece of art you're, you want is that size, I'm going to cut it into 
four six inch squares. So I could try four different things on it if I wanted to. I am going to, um, first of all, do this uh, glass bottle. I saw this on a thing and I haven't tried it. Um, but you have to leave these to dry for 24 hours. So I just yeah. want to get this out of the way and get it up on my counter back there. Um, so who is experimenting along with us with your alcohol inks? That is a Glennis good is, question. Glennis is. Um, Candy is. I'm betting. I'm betting Debbie is. Yay. Thanks, Margie. Right here. <laughs> I told him if I start doing stuff and I don't have gloves on, you better remind me. <laughs> okay, so remember that alcohol inks do not. Oh, the reason, uh, yeah, you're saying, why don't I have to shake alcohol inks and I have to shake pearls, mixatives, and alloys? You notice that you can see the, the pigment settle at the bottom of these and that's why you have to shake them because the pigment is settled but why doesn't the pigment settle on the ink because the pigment in the ink the pigment is completely dissolved it is um, completely dissolved and merged with um, in the the alcohol ink before it is processed um, the pearls the mixatives and the alloys it is not and that's why there is a shaker ball inside so that you can shake them up. So if you know that um, you are going to be using them and you know what you're going to be using, you can take them out and you can set them on their side, which starts to get the pigment you know, down. Yeah, to the, the ball side. gets stuck in the pigment sometimes, I notice. Yeah, yeah uh, sometimes you have to shake real hard. Every now and then it might get stuck up in the top, in the, in the pointy end. Um, I wanna get these pearls, mixatives over here. So you might also see the top of mine with the colors on them. The pearls, the mixatives, and the alloys, this works really well. And I can tell at a glance exactly what color it is, which I love. But the alcohol ink, not so much. I did it on them, but you really can't tell. You really can't tell that it's there because it doesn't have anything to make it stand out, like metallic or pearlescence or anything, anything. So with a black top and just the dark, the ink, I'm going to get these on their sides so that they can just kind of start. And then I can probably move this container right out of the way. That eh, might not even be in the way. I just want the pearls on their sides. I probably won't use them all, but I don't know which ones I want to use. Normally, if you do a project, you have an idea what colors you're going to be using and you'll grab, you know, Two or three, maybe four. I colors. say we use them all tonight. <laughs> I, I want to use them all. I, I know that's the feeling is I want to use them all. <laughs> Not that I can or there is time, but I want to use them all. <laughs> yeah, it's that all or nothing mentality we tend to have. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we want this to kind of run, and I'm just going to gather it all up. I'm going to get a good cut me some. Solid. This is... I did darker in the middle and worked my way out and then I added the smolder also so it's going to have little lines of uh, uh, metallic running through it. Mm -hmm. And then you're covering uh, the saran wrap? Or are you yes, just using that I am. Wrap it on? And then I'm going to put a rubber band on it if I can find one because I don't know what I did with them. That is a good question. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna leave. You're gonna leave the saran wrap on, okay? Yes, for 24 hours. Right. When I come back tomorrow, I will post a picture. Oh, cool. So, so if you start with the darkest one, and I saw the lady I saw do this. I don't remember who it was. I'm sorry, but I I know that lots of people have done it, and they used a lot of ink on it. Like really? a lot. It seemed like such a waste to me. So I went a little lighter. <laughs> well, and you can you know, see what I'm you get. You can, yeah, you can see what you get. Yeah, it, it doesn't. These these bottles, um, when I was saying altered bottle, I think these are perfect for that. Uh -huh. 
were they have juice in them and I got them for like two for a dollar and oh, they're cool. perfect little beautiful bottles. They look right. like this. If I take this off, it's a vase. Super cute. Yeah. You know? So oh, yeah, for sure. I think these are, uh this is one way to alter it. I think there will be more. So yeah. Let's see. We shall see. Let's see here. Uh, it comes in peacock feathers, doesn't it? It might what? not be called that. Um, that what, what, what's the question? Uh, uh, Trudy wants to know, does alcoholic income in peacock feathers? I and think it's called peacock. I think it's just called peacock. Okay. If I remember oh. right. I might not be remembering right, but I think it's just called peacock. Um... I, I'm sure that there's, you know, other colors as well. That are... So, um, sorry, I'm reading. Um, you know, I was going to say, is anybody saying in there whether they're working along with us? Uh, uh, Suzanne is using a nice. photo negative frame you sold last sale. That's cool. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. Julie said, I'm sorry, my mind is too much on our current lockdown situation and family stuff. Uh, start you, doing stuff. You want to get oh. your mind off of it, Julie. <laughs> yeah, that That's is the way to do. To depression, honestly. And when you get in a rut, experiment. Experimenting yeah. is, even if you can't think of something really crazy good to experiment just with. Play, just, just play with what you have. Important. With Without yeah. the intention of, of anything, uh, coming out with anything on the end, without a goal, just pull it out and play with it. Scribble with crayons. Yeah. You know, if color you something with markers. The requirement to make it pretty. It down. No. Yeah. And it's you know like, what? It doesn't matter what it is that you use. Later on, you can always change it. You can always go over it. You can reactivate this with alcohol and turn it into something completely different. If it's water-based, you could reactivate it with water. Or if worst case not, scenario, throw it away. Put something <laughs> over it. Yeah. yeah. Collage over it. Just make it thicker and more sturdy to make a tag. <laughs> the go-to, you know. Easy. Um, somebody asked, oh, was it Kim? Kim in the group. Kim, did you join Happy Paper People yet? Uh, if you go to Happy Paper People, if you answer all the questions that it asks you, it will automatically let you in. Then you won't have to wait to be admitted. Um, but in there, Candy put in the files, the alcohol ink um, swatch sheet. And if you print this on a light cardstock or a heavy copy paper, then you want the ink to absorb into it. And every one of these is just one, literally one drop. If you get more than one drop, it's just going to spread too far. And I wanted it to absorb it because I don't want it to spread across it. So one drop and it makes an absolute perfect circle. And then you can swatch it so that you can see what the colors are. You have the name beside it. And then the pearls. There's one for the pearls as well. So you can go in there and print those out um, if you would like. And those are from Ranger. They, they are their creation, not mine. Jen wants to know, she doesn't have any isopropyl alcohol. Uh, uh, there are options. Um, I'm going to try if nail polish will work to yes, nail polish remover polish. tonight because uh, they'll work differently. The, yes. The, you'll, you'll be able to do something with them. They'll give you some right. results, but it's, they will I mean, work differently. We remove, um, uh, labels and stuff with, or, or marker from something with nail polish remover. So why wouldn't it work? Cause alcohol basically mm -hmm. removes and moves it while you're, um, uh blending solution slows it down and, mm -hmm. and gets it to move differently um so that you know you just need you need just need something that is similar like that's and really, hand sanitizer also that's a really good point that sharon made blending solution slows it down so it doesn't spread blending solution makes it blend so that you can blend colors right and alcohol makes it move makes it run if you want if you're trying to blow it around and it's not moving you, you don't have enough alcohol. The mistake that I made the first time, I didn't realize, um, you know, it seemed like a lot of alcohol, but it's really not. I put down one drop or two drops and think, you know, oh, it should be moving and it's not moving. Well, it's because I didn't have enough alcohol on it. 
squirt some alcohol on it. Alcohol's cheap. You can get it at Walmart. Those of you who live close to Walmart, they do have 91%. There's also 73 and a 50 something. Um, I've heard that there's a 99%. I haven't seen it, but you want you yeah, need at least 91%. If it's, if it's less than that, then your water content is too high. That's the only reason. That's the only reason for having, um, you know, for not using any other alcohol is just because the um, water content is too high. Just think about what chemicals you have that might uh, be okay to work with for your hands and to breathe and that might be uh, 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 react reactive to um, get some alcohol, in, like what you would... Let's say you got a pen mark on your clothes. Um, what would you reach for if you didn't have spot remover? Or what would you? Just hairspray. <laughs> right, always. hairspray might work. Who knows? Hairspray always worked on my pen marks. Always. It's just not very fluid. It kind of stops. It's almost gritty in the end. So I don't know but if it, it would work. Be, but it I had mean, to be an aerosol hairspray. Yeah, it had to be an aerosol hairspray, but it would always work on pen marks. So, you know, the kind with the pump spray uh -huh. might be able to take that lid off and use a little bit of that fluid. I'm not sure. I don't know. That's, I mean, that's experiment. That's what it's that about. An experiment, people. Grab something and play. So, okay, so we're just going to start playing with inks first and see. Ooh, I don't know if this yeah. washi even has enough sticky. We don't know unless we try. I mean, Let's see. Maybe we'll try and find something new. Who knows? Yeah. We'll be <laughs> right? calling Tim Holtz going, hey, Timmy, did you Guess know that what? this would do this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did I get on this? There's like, oh, it's paste. Okay. So I embossed uh, in my embossing machine, which you could use heat embossed uh, as a resist too. Uh -huh. But I embossed photo paper. And I want to see because it actually makes like, uh, cracks in, I mean, you can't see the cracks, but it'll break the uh, paper and wherever the design is. So I'm thinking it might absorb differently from one place to the other, and I want to experiment with it. This is a great way to start where I'm not required to know how to make that alcohol ink move and be pretty. Um, I just am going to drip it on there, and then I'm going to lift it up like that. So... That's my plan right now. Okay. And I'm not going to use nail polish remover because it'll eat the paper. Um, I might just drip some blending or rub some blending solution over it. We'll see here. All right. And I am going to start with, I don't know, I'm just going to start playing on all these things. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just going to play. I'm going to put a little bit of glacier right here. <gasps> I'm I had something on my brush. Oh, really? <laughs> it came off. It was yellow. Yeah. yeah, it came off on your paper, huh? <laughs> yeah, it did. I'm okay with that. It's all right. All right. It'll be okay. Okay. Um, you also, let's see, where did I put that? There's a difference in whether you put the alcohol on with a um a, a dropper or squirting it on like this or whether you spray it on, this is just one of those little mini spray bottles. You know, you can buy those little mini spray bottles. I've got a couple of them, but I also have this one. Which, I have both. Um, came from Kirkland Optical. <laughs> it has no cl optical cleaning solution in it. It was empty and dry, so I filled it with alcohol. I just need to mark it that it's alcohol, and you can spray it with this. <laughs> so spraying is going to give you different results than, uh, than squirting or dribbling. <laughs> I have the um, uh, Sepacol, <laughs> the thing that you uh, might uh, spray your sore throat with. Uh -huh. I have one of those. Oh, cool. Cool. Because <laughs> um, it's got a different sort of a spray that comes out. You know, it's a different uh -huh. kind of nozzle. So I that's my what I use for spraying alcohol. I've always used that mm -hmm. in my room, though. It's like... 
something I've had around forever. Look at that design showing up there, ladies. <gasps> it's beautiful. <laughs> really? Okay, now I'm going to use a different color of blue. Let's see. This one. I just uh, realized I need more of these. If I get really good at these, I'm going to want every color. I know. You start to love them, you're going to want them all. Yeah. The, well, the we... Today we we did the rest of the alcohol inks that I had. I just I I just realized something that I forgot to bring in. Um, I'm gonna go out and grab it. But Purple. anyway, we sold every single last alcohol ink I had, which means it's time to go stock up and get some more. So wow, we all need to make sure. That's why I did finally did this swatch chart. I've had it printed out forever because I wanted to know exactly what I had and exactly what I still needed. You know, or still wanted to have. I'm okay. Read the comments here. I'll be right back. I've got to go. Yeah, we are a bunch of mad scientists. Never know. Never know what'll work unless you try. Look how beautiful. Wow. I almost want to pick up some of that color, but I don't want to waste it. And I am going to use another embossed piece for that because then I can get some variety in color and it can have a chance to dry. Oh, look at it soaking through. So it's supposed to be non-porous. You'd think it wouldn't soak through, but you know. It's all an experiment. We never know. Wow. And it could be soaking through because, you know, I broke the seal on the paper when I ran it through the embossing machine. And that was what I wanted to see if it absorbed differently. Boy, that turned out pretty. I don't have purple, but that looks purple. All right. I'm going to stop with that one and I'm going to let that one dry. Oh, I love it. Really, really love that. Let's get a little bit more of that up. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, that's looking cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the crazy awesome. You can see the design yeah. on there. Oh, I'm thinking break apart, like cut into with a punch or something and make little charms out of it. How Pretty would that be? Look at the back of it. That would be really pretty. Oh, the yeah. back looks cool. They could be double-sided charms where you don't have to worry about backing it. Hi, Dare. Right. Hey, Derby. Um, have you read comments while I was gone? I just hey, see a couple of a couple of long comments, and I have. Um, Jen says, use them to add another layer, clarify the image, darken some outlines. That's not all, though. Alcohol ink markers can also help you implement some controlled blending and texture mm -hmm. while while a layer mm -hmm. uh, while a layer. I'm looking for more a of layer. alcohol I ink. I will pull out some alcohol inks and we'll play with those as well with alcohol and with blending solution and see what happens. So I also have this pen, which is fairly oh, new blending. to me. Yeah. I've used it once. The blending pen? The blending pen, yeah. I just got one. I have never used it. And I'm thinking it would be nice to go over some of the raised areas. Of course, I noticed it works better after it's dry. The one time I did use it, it was on something that was well dry. Oh, after the... 
Uh huh. Ink is dry. So we'll see. Um, I'll sit and doodle on some of these embossed ones later. Um, so that tape is wasted, isn't it? Can't use that again. Yeah, that's okay. It was you guys it. can make your own washi tape with foil tape or um, different kinds of non-porous tape. There are lots of them out there. Uh, yeah. Duct tape. Yeah, as easy as duct tape. Look how pretty. That's really pretty. That's cool looking. Oh. I love it. I don't know which side I like better. <laughs> Wait till it dries. It will change. Yeah. That is the thing. Um, like a lot of mediums, you get different results, whether you dry it with a dryer, a heat gun with the heat, not the blower, but the heat. And whether you let it dry on its own accord and air dry, you will get different results. So, you can try things both ways to see what you like the best. And it might depend on what kind of project you're doing, what you want it to look like. Look at the design that showed up that soaked through. Kind of sad to lose it. <laughs> now, if I'm going to um, work in the same colors, I'm not going to wash this. But if I am going to on change the glass, palette, yeah. Look, you can always put through. some alcohol on that and reactivate it. Just yeah. Some oh yeah. On it, let it sit for a minute and then take a piece of paper and um, that's what I was gonna swipe do. It, swipe yeah. it through it. That was it my up. plan. Um, I'm, I would only wipe it down if I uh, if I was going to change my palette. That's yeah. Really, yeah. I just you know you yeah. know about me and waste and I'm gonna let well, this dry. Well, yeah. None of us want to waste, especially expensive alcohol ink. Right. Okay, so I'm going to put wow. that over there. Oh, my goodness. So I'm wondering if I should color one from, like, if I colored this from the back in yellow, um, then I'll get that softer, different sort of tone, maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to set so, that aside. Guys, I put three colors of, of alcohol ink down here, and yes, then I ran to get something, and so it is completely dry. Okay, it looks kind of cool, but that's not really, you know, what I intended or the end of the end of that experiment there, but it is completely dry. So I'm going to get some of these pearls out of the way because this won't turn if I don't. And oops. Uh, Copic markers are alcohol based. I don't have yeah. any, but I know they're alcohol based. Copics, Spectrum Noir. Um, there's a lot of others that are our alcohol um, trying to make sure that that light gets the best of the color but it also causes a glare especially in the white vinyl i just ran out and got a lazy susan if you have a cake turner that works too but when i'm trying to blow um the funny i have one here around, the color around <laughs> i can't get to it my table isn't round yeah. so yeah. if you aren't able to turn it around it just makes it a little easier yeah, it does. I have one too. That's really funny. Great minds. <laughs> so I need to make sure I have room for that. Okay. So now I've got these inks. And what I used was Glacier, the Glacier Blue. I used Amethyst as the purple. And I used Fiesta as the pink there. And it is completely dry. Completely dry. So I'm going to reactivate it by just squirting alcohol all over it. That's right. I got a purple from you, didn't I? I, I think really you did. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get this moving again. Um, let's see. This one. I see a big old spot right in the middle that has no alcohol at Hard all. Or do you tape with gloves? Yeah. Are yeah. you using gloves? I am. Yeah. I, have, okay. I, have I didn't see your gloves. Oh, yeah. They're clear. Oh. Tape is very difficult with gloves. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Tina. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. Didn't see you come in. Hi, Dawn. Tina, I didn't see. Oh, there's Tina. Hi. How are you? 
Uh, you can lurk anytime, Tina. You can play, you can lurk, you can chat, watch, not play, whatever you feel up to doing. We miss you. Julie sees a butterfly shape. Um, I think that's a great point that you can fold your, you know, squirt on one side, fold it in half. I love yes. those. Yes. I love seeing what's in there. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like subjective art. What do you see in this spot? What do you see in there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you see in this spot? Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so. Um, so I have this and I, it says it's um, uh, light fast and waterproof. So it's got to be a thing. kind of ink. It's Dr. Martin's tech drawing. Ink. Oh, um, well, you can look it up quickly and see if it is alcohol based. Oh, I'm just going to try it. This is experiment night. Hold on, Chaos. I'm going to put this down first and then I'm going to take her out. Chaos, <laughs> stop. <gasps> Chaos, stop. Because I want to wipe this around. Uh, at least you can hear chaos. Hey, sorry, okay, guys. Lucy. It's just on TV. It's, I'll just right on back. TV. it's okay, sweetie. Yes. It's Let's okay. It's just on TV. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Moving that around quite a bit. Um, and I haven't, in the center, they're a little bit overlapped, but I purposefully haven't, um, let's see, there's just so much glare, but I don't know, I don't know if you're getting a bright enough color. If I do this, can you see the color bright enough, or is it too dark, because that will take the glare off if I get that up high like that. It'll take the glare off a lot. Okay, you let me know if you can um, if you can see the color clear bright, bright and clear enough up there. Okay, so see now it's all drying. There's a spot right there. This I'm gonna let it dry. I'm just kind of actually blowing air on this to help it dry. Well, I decide what I want to do next because actually if I put alcohol on it and then add, um, I could add a pearl. What pearl do I want? Um, this pearl would be pretty intrigue. I need to shake some of these up. Um, celestial would be pretty. You can still see. Okay, good, 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 good. Thank you. Okay, so you see how when I squirted alcohol on it, the alcohol helped it to move or made it able to move. If you put blending solution on it, it's not going to move out there like it did uh, so much. It will stay a little bit. Um, it'll it'll be harder to move it, but it'll help you to blend the two colors together. So if you wanted to blend colors together then that would be definitely um, when you want to use the blending solution. So I'm going to add some pearl here. And I'm going to add a little bit of celestial pearl over here. Hi, Lucy. Who are you? And I'm not putting alcohol yet on, on, on yet. I want to see what it does without it. I will probably put alcohol on both of them. Yeah, see, it's not going to spread enough by itself. That's just a couple of drops of pearl. It spreads, but not enough. Not as much as I want anyway. So let's get some alcohol on all of it. But you can see that pearl in there. Shiny. You can see the pearl shining. So... I can see that it would have been better to put the alcohol down, um, drop the pearl in while everything else was still wet. The pearl, which has um, more of the pigment and um, let's see, there's a bunch of alcohol over here, has kind of collected right there and I don't want that 
I can move that around with the with the brush. I could bring it actually I could bring it all the way out here if I wanted. I could just do the whole outer edge like that. I'm grabbing some alcohol with the ink, bringing it out. Of course now I've got alcohol and pink into the purple and the blue. There's no more alcohol here. So the pink, now I'm mixing colors. Okay, there's some things I don't really like about that. I mean, really don't like, and but and I can see how it needs to be done differently. What if I added some more Fiesta? And with that, I add some of the pearl right in the middle of it. Let's try that. Did you see? Can you see? I don't know if you can see. It looks like it's sizzling how the pearl is reacting with the Fiesta. Now, if I get this going out here, we should be able to get that great pearl essence shine. Now, a lot of people will do, this is a pretty big paper. A lot of people will do about half this size and are just making cool colors and cool movement to get um, card backs, card back drops, and to cut out with, with uh, dies, cut out shapes, um, cut out words. And that's, you know, what they want to do with those. And, it, you know, it, it kind of doesn't even matter what it looks like. If you have great color that you like, the color's really pretty, you can cut something out with a die. It's going to look good because you're not going to see... You're not going to see this whole shape when you cut it out. You're just going to get this great color. Okay. What I need to practice and learn how to actually move it. I'm going to try the hair dryer too. I'll do that when Sharon's back so I can mute myself for a minute while I, while I do that. It just seems to be drying super fast. It's really dry around here. So I'm going to just keep squirting it with alcohol because it's just drying really fast. And if it dries too fast, you can't get it to move at all because it's drying, just pour alcohol on it. That's what it needs. We'll get a little bit of that blue over the top of the purple. I'm not really going for any design. I'm just kind of seeing how they react and how they work as I do that. And I see that it has to be very wet. It has to be very wet with, the, put the ink and then the alcohol or the alcohol and then the ink. I can pull these right up off my tape, push them right up off my tape. So they stay right up on my paper. But what is cool now that this pearl is um, mixed in and moved around with the ink. When it dries, wait until you see the cool pearl shimmer that comes out of it. You can't really tell what the pearl is going to do and what it looks like until it's dry and you see that and then it's like, oh wow, you know, really neat. Um, getting a lot of I will say that this little pump is a workout for my hand and my wrist. Come back. For sure. Okay. I probably need to learn how to be left-handed at it too. Left hand is not as tired. Let's see what we can do with left hand. Why not? It's experiment night, right? <laughs> experiment doing it left-handed. My right hand is tired of pumping. I'm going to use my blow dryer on some of them, but I wanted to do it when you're here so I could mute myself for a minute. Okay. When I do the blow dryer. I don't want bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. You just want to get into all those little crevices. My paintbrush is shedding. Mm. No 
bubbles. Okay, so I'm going to try something here. I don't know what happens when you put blending solution over the top of alcohol, ink, and pearl, and alcohol that I had on it. But I'm going to try putting a little blending solution around here and just see what happens. Hi, Lucy. What's the matter, sweetie? Hi. Do make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area. When you're using alcohol inks and especially the blending solution that has the resin in it, you don't want to be breathing it in in the air any more than you want to be sucking it through the straw. What, Lucy? What? 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 Huh? Oh, her blow dryer. You hear that? What? 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 Oh, oh, no, sweetie. What's the matter, sweetie? Oh, she needs to go out too. <laughs> no, she doesn't. She just wants attention. <laughs> okay. Now let's see. Gosh, I wish I had some. Uh, wish I had some purple. These pearls. Yeah. Yeah, I think you've got purple sitting here at my house. Yeah, it's Not okay. I need to Not take So if I use blue, I'll end up with green, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to use red. What, sweetie? What? Oh, poor baby. So again, I'm going to tip this up, I guess, and see what happens. Oh. You just need some love, don't you? You just need some love. There you go. Yeah, you want to stand up and watch? Look, look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. So these would be great for uh, assemblage uh, backgrounds in like oh, shadow yeah. boxes or any sort of like mixed media uh, multi layer. Um, I think it would be fun. I agree. Okay, that's a beautiful mess. <laughs> yeah, I kind of made a beautiful mess too. That's okay, but this is something that I would uh, that I would die cut something out of because you'd get some really uh, pretty die cuts. It's just not a great picture. Okay, are you okay? Are you good? You just need some loves. Oh, Lucy needs some mama loves. I'm use Aww. my blow dryer real quick here, or my my uh, peak. Uh, okay. <laughs> 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 Well, you can watch, Mama. Let's do something else. Okay, let's set this aside for a minute. This is photo paper, and it's it's definitely going to act different on every kind of paper. And this was photo paper. Kind of cool. Not my favorite paper to work on, but but it is kind of cool. Um, you can see the pearl, see the pearl essence in there. Oh, that's pretty. Hi, Lucy. Oh, yes. Boy, it does look like a nice background. There's some fun yes. things happening right here. Yes. Because I think there was paste there, and I wiped it away, and it left yes. like a residue. Yes. So oh, it's all yeah. separating pretty. Oh, yummy. I see that in a shadow box with a bunch of stuff layered in front of it. In front of it. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Hi, Lucy. Sure. Hi, some some touch up on uh, all of the raised edges or spots. Um, 
a little bit more shadow on that. Maybe don't or lick my gloves. No, 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 no. Don't lick my gloves. They don't have anything on them yet, I don't think, but don't lick them. No. Or even to retract don't it. Alcohol ink. You don't want to lick alcohol ink. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. Working. Nice. And that makes the back even darker to do it that way. Um, fun I, thing to doodle on right there. I just bought a yeah, blending brush. I wanted to, where did I put it? Where did I put it? It's got to be close. Might have to try it, Lucy. I meant to get some of my gold and copper foil out oh, um, for oh, this. Yeah. Over the top of it. Well, we should save that yeah. for a foil night. We should save that for a foil night. Yeah. Because we're um, going to do a bunch of well, foil. I have, I have foil tape that I would mm -hmm. like to use but tonight. But I actually see that just takes it all mm -hmm. away where that paste is. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. I can't That's be cool. in that. Yeah. Anyway, I'll sit and doodle on that when I need a when I yeah. not have a mess. Look at you, pretty puppy. And we'll let this dry real quick. Yeah. Oh. Doug is supposed to be any here any time, any moment. Lucy just needs some attention. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully he's, hopefully he's soon, huh? Hopefully he's soon. So what are the, what's the difference between alloys and mixatives? We started to talk about that today, oh. but didn't want to take the time. Those are pearls. So, okay. The, some the of alloy is more like a gold leaf. It's, it's, it reacts differently when it's separated and it doesn't, the mixative kind of mixes in and adds a, adds something sparkly to it. But the mm -hmm. alloys completely separate away and they get kind of jaggedy edges. Um, different, They lay differently on the paper and yeah. look more like gold leaf. Yeah. The alloy is designed to clump together. So yes. it lays down, you know, gives you those cool um, yes. things. And the mixatives are designed to mix with the color. So this will mix with and then flow with the color. And so then say you have this cloud and it has this really cool metallic, just thin lining around it. That would be a mixative where an alloy is going to clump and give you that cool clump in the middle of it. But the mixative will mix with the color and move with it. So they're both, they're, they're both metallic. And so you've got a gold in both. You got, you know, a copper in both, a rose gold, a silver, um, gunmetal, all of those. So it just depends on what you want it to do. Do you want it to mix with it or do you want it to clump together? These are all pearls. Lucy is fascinated with the shaking of these bottles. <laughs> all right, that's all the pearls. Hi, right? Amanda. How are you? That's the mixative. Is Sharon blurry? Is Sharon blurry to people? I'm right here. I shouldn't be blurry. I don't look blurry uh, on my... Oh, I, there's a weird line through my can, hand, though. Uh, I can see in StreamYard it's blurry. Really? Yeah. It doesn't look blurry to me. Um, and sometimes when we move too fast, it's blurry. But if we slow down... How's that? It's not blurry. That's better. I, can, I don't have YouTube open, so I can't see what is in there. Right. Um, but there's some of them are saying that you're blurry or you're pixelated. Whoopsie. Is it better now? Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a little bit. No, it just keeps going back and forth from being pixelated and blurry to... Huh. Um, Yeah, I'm not seeing that at all, I wonder, so I don't know why it would. Is it, I uh, wonder if the camera's too close. Well, as you know, I can't do anything. Yeah. I can't. Well, at least not now. Yeah. Start reorganizing everything. <laughs> right. I uh, fixed that because last week we changed it, remember? Right. So yeah, I think yeah, of what I'm going to do. Right 
before I go and color these, I'm going to practice on this to see how it behaves first um, before I before I do these. Go see Daddy's here. Because I've got all this space, and then I can use these, like this piece right here on something. I'll cut it into something even, or into a shape and make a charm, or um, a, a little punches like a heart and add it as an as like a jewel embellishment um but i'm going to not waste this and practice on it all right where did i drop my washi tape i probably dropped it in the trash can because the trash can is right below mm. uh -oh. or i dropped it and it rolled I gotta grab some more. Oh, we need to tape this down. Uh, Amanda asks Marianne, I missed your sale today. Can I email you some things that I would like if they're still available? Yes, you can. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, and anybody who wasn't there last night, go check out some of the fun things we had last night and different fun things today. We had some new Mente today. And the stamp period did not arrive today. It was supposed to. So I'm just going to see how these um, pearls act on this metallic uh, foil tape. Okay. And I'm going to see if I can get purple by mixing together the pink and the blue because that should technically do it. But That's because it's a pearl, good. we'll see. Mm, are both I sides of the should. Pearls? see if let's see if this one makes purple just so i know okay i can't see a different in either side of the upo does anybody know are both sides of the U, of upo the same uh, let's use pool all right what colors i already used a fiesta and whoops, sorry for bumping the camera there with my head. And glacier and amethyst. Any, um, what's a color somebody would like to use this time? We're gonna try. We're gonna try some um, on Yupo. So no purple with the pearl in the blue, the pearl pink in the blue, but purple with the regular flamingo pink or whatever. Mm -hmm. Enchanted, not enchanted. Uh, pink sherbet. Um, or sherbet and oh, yeah. the pool make purple, but the uh, pearls do not mix like that because it's a pigment that sits at the bottom and it's apparently not enough color, but I'll try mm -hmm. a little bit more of that. Just okay. to check. I am going to, these are pearls are coming over there. Maybe um, just make more of it because here. of the pigment. What is an alloy doing over there? Well, alloys belong over here. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, where's my... <clears throat> and then I also mm -hmm. wanted to see what shade I would get if I used red and blue. Mm -hmm. Lucy. The shades that I have. Poor Lucy. Poor, poor Lucy. I'll use pool again. Mm. Okay. I am going to not use blending. Set that up there. Um, Jen says teal and slate gray. <laughs> I saw gold and black first, I think. And one of my favorite marbled papers that we did was gold and black. So I'm going to try gold and black. Boy, There's that's not nice. really a gold ink. There is 
there's the alchemy, which is a pearl. It's not going to move quite like the ink will. There's dandelion. But then when we put the gold alloy or mixative on it, mm. that is gold gold. So that's not probably the Dijon is the closest to being gold. Dijon. Where is there's Dijon right there in front of me. Okay. Um, I don't know. We're going to try it. So this time I'm going to try this little guy is constantly in the way. He is. I'm going to put the alcohol down first on this one. Okay. There's a bunch of alcohol on the paper. Then I'm going to try the black and the Dijon. And um, I'm going to do, um, where's a mixative? Where's a mixative, gold mixative? Oh, where's my puffer? I don't want it all the way over the edge there. Let's bring it back up. I didn't want to do that yet. I didn't have, so I can see that that's not totally flat. That's why that's doing that. I should have put, I could put a little bit of, a little bit of washi right on the sides to help hold that down. I want to mix up the mixative real quick. And I'm going to put the mixative in with it. I'm going to put it in with the Dijon. And I'm even going to put a little bit in there with the black. I don't know what the gold mixative is going to do with the black. But I'm going to find out. So I've got Dijon ink with gold mixative in it. And I've got pitch black ink with gold mixative in it. I put down a bunch of alcohol first, and then I put the ink on top of it. Instead of putting the ink down and then the alcohol, I put the alcohol down first. Um, where's, where'd my mixative go? Here's my mixative. I think I need a little more alcohol over here and some mixative over here. Oops, it squirted right out. Awesome sauce. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> She's getting excited. <laughs> Ooh, I love it when it looks cool, especially if it's something that I didn't know what was going to happen. Don't know how it's going to mix, yeah, land or where it's going to go. Pretty, yes, Lucy, isn't that so pretty? I know she just wants to be up here watching me on my lap. What, sweetie? I know, Daddy will be home any time. Where is he? What's taking him so long? Oh, she's so sad. She wants to stand up with her paws on my lap and just stand up with me here and, and play. Yeah. She wants yeah. to play too. Then she keeps licking, wanting to lick my gloves, and I don't want her to lick my gloves. <laughs> Lucy. That's what's pretty baby? funny. What, 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 what? Aw, you sweet girl. Let's see. What? I do have, I made, um, because my alcohol is only 70% and it's just all I have today. So I actually made, which is usually what I keep on my desk for whatever reason. Um, uh, oh, this is about a whole bottle of one of these and the rest of it is alcohol, um, and it, I decided because oh, this has a baby. much higher content of uh, <laughs> alcohol in it, and it's a little thicker that hand sanitizer is going to behave differently um, anyway because it's thicker. But this thins it down 
so it's not quite as fluid as alcohol, but uh, it still will move it. And it might act more like a blending solution. No, guys, the alcohol isn't bothering her. She wants to be right up here in it. She wants her paws on my leg and she wants to stand here with her face in it. And I don't want her to have her face in it. She likes the puffer. She likes listening to the puffer. And when I puff her face, and as long as I have my hand on her and I'm giving her some loves and attention, she's quiet. As soon she's as I take my her. Hand don't off let her lie. She's as down soon there. as I take my hand off of her, she starts. <laughs> see, I just took my hand off her and she starts whining again. No, the alcohol oh. isn't bothering her in a negative way. She wants to be in the middle of this. It's. I'm in a well ventilated area and I have a big fan on, pulling it away. So, I let's see here. There's a lot of Dijon over here. I'm going to add some alcohol. Lucy. And I want to add one drop of black over there. And I'm going to add one drop of gold mixative in right in the middle. It dropped right in the center of that black dot. And let's get some of that. Lucy, what, 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 what? I know, sweetie. I know. As soon as I put my hand on her and give her some loves, she is quiet. She just wants some attention. Daddy will be home any minute. But when I do that, my alcohol is drying, sweetie. My alcohol is drying. What? <laughs> Poor baby. I know. She's so misused and abused. <laughs> Unloved, unloved, unspoiled. That's Hi. right. Hi, Lucy. Yes. That's a sweet girl. Here. All right. Here. Up. You can put your legs up here. You can come up and watch. You just have to stay back there. Ouch. Ooh. Sharp nails. Yeah. See? As long as you stay back there, it's okay. I know. It looks fun, doesn't it? Yes, it does look fun. <laughs> but no, you can't help me. <laughs> what? 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 So you know how alcohol just fluidly runs away? It mm -hmm. makes the cells and then it psh, runs away. Um, if you if it's mixed with hand sanitizer, it kind of hangs out longer. So that yeah. maybe it's an I does it become more of a gel? It it does, and it has more of an opportunity to have either cells there or um, because these are rounded. You see, like mm -hmm. you guys know, these are three D. Um, and everything wants to run off of it, but it's keeping mm -hmm. that up on there. That's what it's doing. Okay. So if that cool. was a mix of two. I mean, it'll have its uses. I know. Um, I'm going to have to try to come up with a green I, here. I just um, squirted some out. alcohol on it and I'm just going to see what I get if I let it run a bit. I'm going to let those dry. Hey, okay, Daddy's home. <laughs> so they all look different on the foil, too, whatever oh. colors I think I'm making. Sure. They look cool, though, on the foil. Um, well, this was why I did the palettes on here, not to waste it, and so I could see how it looked with the foil background and mm -hmm. how I would achieve purple, perhaps, or mm -hmm. how they would mix. Um, hand sanitizer is a great way to clean off your stuff too. Yes. Um, yeah. You work on a glass mat and then, and you finish with that color, put some hand sanitizer, wipe it up with a paper towel. Right. If you leave it there and then you put something else on top of it, you're liable to have some of that color on the bottom of it. So I'm going to attempt a green now. Do I only have one of those? try it. So I've also got some wallpaper here, um, which should be non-porous. However, um, anywhere where there's like a crease or whatever, it could have broken that surface. Mm -hmm. So we'll see that sinks in there more where the veins of the leaf are. It won't on the foil. The foil will be, you know, whatever. It's going to, it's solid, um, non-porous, but this could be otherwise. 
I honestly wish that this die, these were either separate or it had two of the hearts because I will use that way less than I will use the heart, the mm. four leaf clover. Mm -hmm. I really like the heart. Yeah, the heart is pretty cool. I actually would love to use this like a frame. Yeah, that would be a pretty frame. Mm hmm. <laughs> Tina said, Marion, you need to get a chair Lucy can sit in next to your desk. All she wants to do is see what mommy's doing. She totally would. She totally would. Yeah. That's yes, Julie, I am going for the bleeding heart look. That's right. <laughs> um, who knows how I'll end up. I mean, I can think of so many ways to use this. I'm pretty excited about this. Oh, you guys, look at the back. That look what happened. I love the back. I love the back. That is pretty. Oh, my goodness. I love the back. I love these lines. Yeah, I love the back. So that makes me want to make, oh, my gosh, look at that one. Wow. Wow. Ah, now I want to make one and ink up the, well, no, it's on paper. That's why it, when it went around and, and went in every drop that I added, because yeah. it won't soak through the foil. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm, I was thinking I kind of want to do one upside down and get that look on the other side. Um, but I don't think I can because um, that's because the paper underneath the foil was absorbent. Wow, that's cool. That is really cool looking. I like that. it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's that's one of those that you hope happens. Yeah. This is why we experiment right here because this will exactly. cause a you, brain you wave. have known or been able to just make that, but you have to yeah. just play and experiment and it just happens. And then you know And what then you this did. will inspire lots of other new ideas right. um, or ways to use it or a project that I might want to do centered around this heart. Mm -hmm. It's so fun. Yep, that is a bleeding heart, isn't it, though? It almost looks like fire in the middle. That is so cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay. So I'm going to do these now, and I'm going to attempt a green. Do I have a blank spot where I can? Well, I'll just work. I'll wing it. I'm going to wing it. Just roll with it, baby. Come on and just. I want to move it around. These are actually, this foil tape is really thick. So, um, oh, there we go. So it's pretty solid. I don't feel like it's going to lose its shape at all. This one I want to Oops. spray yeah. with my gel. See if it helps. So this is the hand sanitizer with 70% alcohol. And let's use pool on this one or sailboat blue. The beauty of using wallpaper on things, not after you over soak it like we're about to here, but um, not necessarily. But the beauty of using wallpaper is getting to wet the back of it and adhere it to your project. And then it really sticks. It's 
it's way better than glue because it's it's pre glued, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and, and every and everything is stuck down so well. I recently got my hands on um, three giant rolls of different width um, uh, drywall tapes and they are craft paper brown and they are sticky on the back if you get it wet and it doesn't take much wet. Oh yeah, I've seen them. I ended up making, that's what I made that frame with, with that awesome stamp. I oh, stamped cool. that out. It was just the right width for that tape and then I cut it into and cut around the shapes and made a frame with it. It was amazing. Um, but I, it, they, I think I'm going to use those a lot. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of those and they're big fat rolls. Wow. That's cool. All right. Check this out. Okay. Hold on. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. That is pitch black mm -hmm. page on ink. And then, um, where is it? Uh, gold mixative and gilded alloy, which is also gold. They just call the alloy by a different name. So you know which is alloy, which is mixative. But gold mixative and gold alloy. So the gold mixative mixes more with the color and moves through it. So you see a lot of that throughout. Mm -hmm. And then I dropped gold alloy in and that's what creates the clumps in locations. I love those little, you know, like shiny lakes of metallic, whatever. That's pretty cool. So th there's a, one good experiment. Okay. Um, so ladies, uh, they had suggestions about how I might re achieve this. The reason I achieved this is because I stuck the foil tape down to regular white cardstock. Okay. And that, what you're seeing there is the white cardstock that did that. That came through. So the white cardstock will soak the, soak up the ink. Yes. But that's yeah, why it looks awesome. like that. Yeah. That's cool. But I'm, I'll find a way to use that side. I'll just, um, so all I need to know is to put something non-porous on, you know, stick it to the other side of the cardstock. So I'm not wasting mm -hmm. my foil tape. Right. And, uh, do that on that side and have the cardstock be the side I want to use. That would be the way Hello, to go. Laura. How are you? Hello. You know what? That's I hardly have anything. I have a little bit of golden black here. It's from touching the side, but I hardly have anything on my gloves. Watch. I wear gloves and I get nothing on it. I don't wear gloves and my hands will be, are always covered <laughs> in ink. Always. <laughs> so this is what I just did, Laura, with the Dijon ink and the pitch black ink and then gold mixative and gilded alloy. I'm just giving it a second to dry. In fact, if you want to speed the drying, that's where you grab this. This will speed the drying. This does not have the air movement, so it won't move it around, but it w the heat will dry it. Because there's quite a bit on here. There's a lot of layers. Now, it's actually going to... I want, I should have just let it go because I wanted to let it dry by itself. It gets a different look than when you dry it with the, the heat. Every media or medium you use is going to get a different look if you dry it with the heat gun as opposed to letting it air dry. It totally, uh, to me, totally changed the um, look of the metallic. Um, you can see this over here. I did not dry with the heat gun. And look how shiny that metallic is. And then over here, it seems to have dulled the metallic. And I'm not crazy about that. And I'm going to have little white strips right here where I put this, uh, <laughs> put this down. So I don't like that. I don't like what it did to that. So I'm going to change that. How am I going to do that? I love that we can start again. Yeah. I'm going to throw some alcohol on it. I'm going to put a little bit of black on it. I'm going to put a little Dijon over here. 
and I'm going to move those around a bit and then I'll get the gold and the gilded. Maybe I could have gone straight to the gold and the gilded to get that shine back on top, but I noticed that my black looks really flat too, as does the Dijon. And over here, look how bright and vibrant this Dijon is. You wouldn't ever think that that's Dijon. I would like Dijon. I, I would get the crap out of that. Okay, yeah, it's a great <laughs> color. It's it's And it's a way better color than I yeah. thought it would be. Yeah, you know that that's one of my shades, you know? So I would totally use that. So I'm going to quit here. I did add a little gold to that. So it's just not screaming silver, um, like the gold uh, mixative. Um, but it's, you know, yellow and blue and I quit. Cool. And these are the I'm ones that cool. I would want to spray cool. before I use. Um, but it's nice and thick. The back's not as pretty as the hearts, but same process, same foil on paper. Mm-hmm. A lot of what I did with this was was um, put it on with plenty of alcohol and then let it run. I blew it around, but I let it run. And then after it ran, then I blew it to exactly where I wanted it. It's beautiful colors. Okay, I'm going to set these over here to dry. I don't know that one. I don't want to put anything else on these. I would put more red on that, but I don't want to mess this up because I think I'm going to end up using the other side. I love that other side. Actually, that's the one. So this one, I'm going to use the other side. This one, it's pretty dark. I'm going to go ahead and add more to that. Wow. I'm tilting it up until I can get that tiny little edge where the tape was. without having to go over it with a, a brush. See if I can get the ink over there. It kind of stops where there's little barriers, wants to run where it wants to run. So um, let's see, now I need a little bit of alloy, but gonna need some more ink. So I'm seeing that the gold mixative, or maybe it was, was it the mixative I put on there? It was the mixative. Uh, it's still wet, um, which says to me it doesn't want to dry on the foil as well. Well, is yes. it how many layers of stuff? Is it just straight on the foil? Because the more uh, layers well, we have, the longer it takes. There were dry layers underneath by the time I okay. got to the gold. Okay. Yeah. So... Hmm. I love the cracks in this heart. Um, all right. I think I'm going to quit there. I really like it. Yeah, those hearts look way cool. Chaos, you already went. I'm going to get the spray bottle. I wonder if, if uh, Daddy will in. Starting to wonder. That is something she would know. <laughs> He's not. I was going to suggest, um, remember, we were talking about picture frames um, uh -huh. yesterday. And my thought was, you know, the ugly gold picture frames from the 70s or the 60s that have the little mm -hmm. skinny and you see them all in droves at the thrift store. Chaos, get mm -hmm. out of my trash. No, no. She's not feeling well, yeah. and she's walking funny even um, right now I've got... from those tumors. But, right. yeah, she's and she's being weird. She's just being weird. But uh, those, those gold ones would be great to alter because we could make what's old new again and make uh -huh. them loved again. Nobody uses those anymore. No one likes them. And they would be fantastic to add some alcohol ink to. Yeah. I, um, plus uh, anything like this from the nineties that, you know, my kids school pictures used to be in these and I have two of them. <laughs> uh, my daughter's picture out of this one and was thinking, what if I alter this? Cause it's made out of a resin. Uh -huh. uh, it would be a great thing to alter with alcohol inks. You can use glass of course too, but I mean, think, I'm thinking of other hard non porous surfaces that I might have around my house. Oh. 
Um, you could use tin cans and make a set of pen holders for your art room. Uh, the same way I did the bottle and have them bleed up the can. Mm -hmm. Those are cool when you bleed up. They would be great with um, um, paintbrushes and stuff in them. Yeah. It'd be a great way to treat those for that. Look at me. I got little pieces of tape everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> They're all over. I can get rid of this now. Okay, let's see what else I got here. I've got a whole basket of... Oh, I've got this. Okay, this I took, the same foil, and I ran uh, some thick, heavy uh, gel medium through a stencil with some uh, German writing on it. Or some of that. Yeah, I think it's German. And it was the scrap, the leftover, what I took off the, uh, what I was cutting out with a thin inlet die. So let's see what this does. And this I will drip as well, but I'm going to cut it into two. This would make gorgeous charms. Gorgeous charms. Just cut into rectangles. Little long skinny rectangles would be fun, wouldn't it? I the vellum. And I really burnished this down and tried to keep some of the wrinkles, but made it very flat. Oh, I think the um, thicker craft plastic or the vellum, the, the better chance you are at having it work. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because it, if it doesn't warp, warping is the, it's the problem and makes things pool in all the little valleys. Chaos? No. Um, what, uh, Jen said teal and what? Way back, way back when she said teal and something. Teal and gray. Teal and gray. I don't is there think, a gray? I don't think there is a gray, but a black. Huh. Um, a diluted black, black that's diluted with alcohol, um, is probably the closest Let's see. I'm looking for. Ooh, I'm going to use patina tonight at some point. That would be pretty. I'm going to try the pearl first this time. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to spray it with alcohol first so it dries faster. And I'm going to drip it down. Maybe I'll take gold from the other end, turn it upside down, and drip them towards the center, towards each other. Kind of creates an ombre, uh -huh. but, but not. Ooh, I love this color. Oh, my gosh. Hold up. Let's see. Cobalt. How about? Favorite new color. Do. These are always my favorite colors of paint, too, so okay. I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> and let's see, what do we have that's near gray? Monsoon is kind of blue gray. Where's moss? No, oh, that's greenish gray. Mushroom. I don't have mushroom. That might be the right one. Gunmetal, she said. I have gunmetal. Gunmetal is, it is gray. It is, um, let's I'll see. i that on the next one. There's smolder one is a pearl. Um, we go with uh, a mixative. Gunmetal is a mixative. <clears throat> I have no idea what it's going to do on um, vellum. Oh, see, if you don't clean up what's underneath it, you're going to get it on the back of whatever you put down next. Just got whatever it was on the back of the vellum. Hello, hello, my mama. Hi, Marianne. How about using this stuff on old Christmas tree balls? Oh, yeah. Yes. That's a great idea. Yes. There's a lot of applications for Christmas, honestly. That's a great idea. Or the clear, the clear, yeah. um, you can get the clear glass balls, Christmas tree balls. Uh -huh. I and do the inside. Own. Uh huh. Yeah. Let them drip down inside, too. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? Okay, uh -huh. gun metal. And turquoise. Let me move 
some of these over. Or if you're doing any uh, crafts with any of the clear plastic, like making wreaths or whatever, you uh -huh. could totally uh, uh, alter the color and make it, you know, stained glass esque uh -huh. with alcohol ink. Mm, um, yeah. Yeah. That's oopsie. Careful. I sometimes I feel like the alcohol pearls are a little chunky. Yeah. Um, and I wonder then if I had, didn't mix them long enough. Me too. Um, That's what I'm did, did I not add enough alcohol to it? Because they have, they do have to have if, a substantial amount of alcohol to even move. That's well, if you uh, move them too fast, like with the blower, if you put it straight over it, I notice it gets chunky and moves away and well, it kind yeah. of clumps together. And not a look I'm going for. Yeah, ever. the pearls, the alloys, the mixatives have more pigment and more yeah. um, resin in them. So, okay. Um, I have no idea what this is going to do on vellum. So I'm going to start with alcohol. Everywhere alcohol. Then we're going to get some turquoise, which is going to give us our teal. Let's do brown. And like then this. we're going to use some gunmetal better dry it first. I, I know we don't have to close these, but it feels weird to not close them. I know it does, but you know, I while you're working it. on it, you don't have to. Um, just a second, oh. we'll take a look and see what Candy's doing. Well, don't go over the edge. Let's go back here. I'm trying to keep all of the pearls together on their side, and I keep not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I keep not. Yeah. Keep them on their side. It's gets it's a uh, little. Keep them on their side in the front, away from the others. That's mm -hmm. what I mean. Um, yeah, but I don't store them on their side. But when we're using them like this, I'll just lay them down on their side because then they're yeah. At least the the um the pigment is to the side this. instead of on the bottom. Think, I feel like I would like to have a large canvas instead of these small pieces, and then for just experimenting. Work, well, just not no, and only work in the center, but not so then I don't have an edge. You're right. So I'll still work in a small area, but I wouldn't have an edge that I'm like, don't go to the edge, don't go over, you know, because it's so small. Yeah. But um, can stay in the center. That's why I put mine on glass. And I've been working on that so that I'm wow. not wasting anything that's going over the edge. It's just, you know, it's there if I really want to use it. Right. Well, right. I'm not either. I've got it on vinyl. And one of the things I'm uh, planning to do is try it on vinyl. So when I'm all done, the vinyl's right here, already down. Um, sometimes packaging comes in coated, um, coated paper. Yeah, uh, that's true. If you look at not just the, the, the clear part, but like the the card part that's underneath, this one's not, but sometimes they are super coated. Um, so guys, pay attention to your packaging and maybe you'll end up with some pieces that you can play on. Because that's what it's about. I'm letting the other one dry while I do this one real quick. I've got the gunmetal mixative. I've got the uh, Dr. Martin's uh, tech. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's gold ochre. Oh, cool. This is the gunmetal. We'll see if these even mix together. I was trying to do like a silver and gold, like an and a patina silver and gold kind of little bit of this and that. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'll do copper. Boy, that one's clogged. Mm, I like copper. All right, let's get up. Hi, honey. Hi. How are you? Good. 
Why not to go take care of Tricky? Okay. Uh -huh. and Hi, honey. Hi, honey. <laughs> and, uh, How are you? Tired. Hot, tired and sweaty right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I went out back and that mm -hmm. part was still there, so I had to take it out front. So I had to put mm -hmm. my shirt on and take it out the trash can. And I was mm -hmm. out there down okay. the street in mm -hmm. the back of the truck. Right. Yeah, a lot of times they are metallic, and the back of them. over there, and she was oh, taking right. big bags of fertilizer. Oh, like they'll have that metallic sort of like light oil over, over the top. So I said, Yeah, I keep my cool. packaging, uh, anything that's cool, like keep under my desk. You know, take them around back. You have another robot? like, yeah, we get it. So I grabbed the roller that she had in my house. Or I have an old gold um, five trips. Uh, mm -hmm. record yeah. holder, the it's wire kind. Right yeah. She's probably going to want some dinner. Long yeah. ago. Yeah. And, uh, I'll have them a piece of standing up in the. Uh, Are you hungry? See, there's that chunky. She's, She's, hungry. Hungry. She's hungry for attention. Well, yeah, I have I been know. trying to. But okay, go. Cool. Cool. It's the mixative. Or go forward and then turn around. I, there you go. I think it's because I don't it I didn't add it to alcohol ink in itself. Like I used it by itself in those areas, in those dry areas. And what is I, that? I, the well the gunmetal mixative. Yeah, uh, you've got to have alcohol down. They yeah. just don't yeah, they just don't move or react right if there's not alcohol. That's the mistake yeah. I made the first time I used it, it. I put them down. I'm like, these things don't move. It reacted more like a one of the pearls when it gets. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Look at this, guys. Look at what's happening here. <gasps> this is the pearl on the silver, and it almost made it flat, and I love it. Can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. It almost looks flat in person. I don't. I don't know if you guys can see that. Wow. Um. Uh, Trudy, I'm not sure about the pearls yet. <laughs> she asked if I liked them, and maybe you're picking that up in my, in my. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think that, I yeah, I don't think we can form them. an opinion on on something until we use it multiple right. times. Because usually if you try right. something and you don't like it and you watch other people doing cool things with it, right. I hate to say it, but it's usually user error. Right. It's because we don't know how to use it effectively yet. And if we don't play with these, we'll never know how to right. do that. So uh, if we don't like it, we just haven't learned how it is to be used. Right. And each of these things yeah. requires right. its own um, type of treatment in order to, you know, work effectively. And yeah, they all want to be used differently. So, so and after it, you try it, then it's a whole lot easier to go do some research and watch some people and and have a better know, understanding him and see, you know, how he does it, and then go, oh, okay, I didn't do that, or I see that. I think one of the things with the pearls, I do not like how chunky it gets when I treat it like I would treat the other things, but direct blowing directly on it, whoops, blowing directly on it is part of the problem. And I think approaching mm -hmm. it from the side kind of works mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. um, All of them seem to open up better when blown from the side rather than right instead above. of getting too much pressure then they it scatters all those pieces of pigment sure. yeah you gotta shake them enough that's the other thing and knowing that i did a good job shaking i think is really important like see what's ha what's happened here this is um uh mixative right there or pearl i think it's the mixative when i put that on without the alcohol ink but it's kind of chunky and that's what the pearls do look how rusty this looks you guys it looks like real old metal wow because i have the it, it's got like the iron element to it uh with the with the gunmetal also kind of mixed it together mm -hmm. around the edges oh my gosh that is amazing mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and I think the pearls will work different on different surfaces, too. I agree. I'm liking it on this foil more than I thought I would. Way more. How do you know you don't like the pearls if you don't have any? What's that? That's my question. <laughs> Trudy said, I didn't like the pearls when they came out. I still don't have any. Yeah, how do you, how know, do you know you don't like them if you don't have any? Unless you don't like the look of them. Is that what you mean? I don't know. 12 colors is plenty to play with, Julie. That's yeah. awesome. That's about all I have. See, I'm, I'm much favoring these areas here. <laughs> so now I'm going to experiment and see if the uh, mixative uh, works okay when you put down a pearl first. Like, because I remember I noticed that mm -hmm. it needed a, needed a alcohol ink first. Mm -hmm. But let's see if pearl is enough for it to do its job. Well, they all need alcohol, too. Right. No, I'm not talking about alcohol itself. I'm talking about alcohol ink. Remember? Because I didn't like the result when I put it down just that. The pearl just itself. But did you use alcohol yeah. with the pearl? No, I'm not talking about the... No, the gunmetal, the mixative. Oh. I used the mixative without... Remember? We okay. had this conversation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, a while ago, gonna move. I was even I, the mixatives or the alloys are not going to move around the same if they don't have alcohol as a base. You mean alcohol ink, right? Al alcohol or alcohol ink. They can, you can do them in alcohol just by themselves, or you can put them with alcohol ink either way. But any of the four things need the, um, need alcohol or blending solution. But if there's nothing to blend it with, just, Needs alcohol as a base. Ooh, I did not mean to get that much. Let's see what we can do with that. So this, there's just not foil on the end of this. And I want to not waste that bit. I love the way this came out. That's cool. It's got a texture to it, like a... a Tina. I always like to find 900 ways to make a metal surf, make something look like metal. <laughs> like a patina. This mm -hmm. is actually metal, but you know, giving it that patina is is my jam. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I know Candy sent me something. I'm going to go pull it up so that we can take a look at it. Anybody else have anything you've done? Send it over to me. Let's take a look at it. Let's let, let everybody see what's worked, what hasn't worked, what you like, or what you don't. I don't know why I keep putting the lid back on that and I keep reusing it every second. Just wait till I'm done. Okay. So, however different they are, I hate how much gets wasted on the tips of all of these. Because there's always a puddle on the tips of the, <laughs> um, you know what I'm talking about, on the tips of the bottles. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I get a pill, sometimes I don't. I've got to pay attention to see what I do when I don't. Okay, so this one has the gunmetal 
in similar colors, but they're a little bit different. And they both turned out like, oh, so fun. I think I need black. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have, I don't own black. I'm, I'm thinking black to thin out and get in all the little crevices when there's a texture so that mm -hmm. it has that shadow would be fun. Wow, that's fun. I could look at that for hours. I'm sorry. Oh, cool. Thank you. I'm thinking that is so good for so many things. Mm -hmm. Huh? Okay. I'm going to put these up to dry. fun yeah okay let's try a new thing i'm gonna try something new um i'm gonna pop some tags only got 20 dollars in my pocket okay oh you heard me say sorry <laughs> um if you doug what? If you leave the door open, will this be too noisy? I don't know. So if she wants to, she could come in there. If she doesn't, she can just come in here and lay down with me. Margalo said it looks like a stormy st stormy sky. It does. It, it does. really does. There's a couple things that I don't... Uh, interesting to drop a drop of color in the middle of some mixative and see what it does my vellum isn't perfectly flat so it gets to this spot right here and then it doesn't keep flowing the way it was flowing um, something to be said for perfectly flat uh -huh. <laughs> um, substrate which what are you using the craft vellum. plastic oh the no, vellum. vellum yeah, yeah. This is vellum. Yeah, it makes little pools and all the little. Uh, it doesn't go over the hump, so then it just goes right. around, you know. And then you get little fingers. I'm gonna do a couple more of these. I want the fingers. Because I've got them sitting here, and I want to get them out. Oh, I was gonna try something new, wasn't I? Um, what if? Spray the entire thing with alcohol. Get a little bit of drippage going on here. I'm thinking right now. Sorry. Okay. I'm dripping right now. <laughs> <laughs> Purposefully trying to anyway. All right. Let's yeah. See. Oh, how about this? Okay. Thank you. Good night, honey. Do this Love one. You. We'll, we'll do this in a while. This one. Is that going to be too shiny for the camera, for the screen? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Look at it. It's that metallic paper. Yeah. Um, but I got this, and I hadn't used it yet, this embossing folder that's got chess pieces on it. And... Oh, yeah. Um, it's really cool. Um, so I'm thinking. Uh, this uh, needs something else. I'm sorry. This needs another. Needs It needs more depth. It needs another color. I might do a little bit of black. So what are you going to do with that metallic chest? Well, this is, I that think it's really going cool. to be sealed paper because it seems to have a plastic coating over it. But okay. it's also cool on the back. 
uh, it's or it's white on the back paper, but it might turn out really neat on the back if it soaks through like it did on the foil. Mm -hmm. But my thought was all of these can be independent, all of these shapes, because mm -hmm. they're in like a checkerboard, like a, or a chess right. board, um, right. chess pieces. And my thought is that they're raised and everywhere that there's a chess piece, the color's going to glide off and pool up around it. So they're going to stand out. And right. I just might really like the way they are to cut them out into mm -hmm. little dangly pieces. Hmm, that'd be cool. It's perfect for cutting up. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So let's see. I've got to have a color strong enough to... Cause I want to, I want to push this glitter back what I, and it's not textured. It's very smooth. Okay. I am, if I use blue, it's going to look green. Let's see. I wish I had my colors. I should maybe I should try brown first. I should go look and see what you have. Eyes. Well, What's I that? can tell you, I can tell you what you have. And so you can print out one of those, um, Ranger swatch things and, and start putting your, at least marking what colors you have. Yeah, that'd be good. So you know, I, yeah. The thing is I, you know, I have to know that I want to invest in more of them and sure. that's going to take pla practice and play. Period. Exactly. You know? exactly. So I'm going to pick this up. I have a turntable too, but this is nice to be able to pick up the, because mm -hmm. it's glass. So I'm trying to go in from the back forward this time, trying to see if I can get down into some of those little grooves first, or I mean, it might just end up moving as I'm moving color around, but you know, maybe some of it'll stay put, you know, I think, uh, I actually think adding the sparkle to the sparkle will push back and dull that color a little bit like it did on the foil. Mm -hmm. um, because that's a different kind of sparkle than this is. So the, the alcohol inks, I think, is what I'm going to, or the pearls is what I'm going to go with, I think. So let's try the smolder. I'm starting, starting to see what Tim says when he says with this puffer, you can, he controls where, what, what he makes it do, not just squeeze it, you know, a pump, like pumping a blood pressure as, as hard and fast as you can. I'm starting to see what he means by being able to do that. It's taken a while, but that's cool. I still haven't used my um, uh, alcohol lifting. Oh, so okay. that's no, something I'm doing next, honestly. I, I, I got to play with this on more surfaces first before I start lifting. <laughs> I got to get control of the alcohol ink before I start doing the lift. Right. <laughs> well, and I think the surface really matters. Um, oh, with absolutely. I noticed that totally. with the pen that I've only used a couple times and it was just to see if I could get it to work because I haven't really played with alcohol inks that much. Mm -hmm. um, at least not to say, oh, I got this new color. Let me drop this down and, right. and you know, that's it. That's all I've done. Totally makes a difference what, what surface it's on. Yeah. So I think, okay, chaos. I know. I know. My poor girl. She's so, she's even walking funny. Aww. Except I've wasted all these gloves. Darn it. Chaos. Ah. I. It's hard to get them off my sweaty hands. My yeah. oh, I was going to say, do they not uh, dry off before you get back and can... Put but the same ones on again. Turn them all inside out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. 
I have to Sorry, take this away her. so I can see. She's got a shiny light on it. It's it's weird. It's not in the shiny light. It doesn't look the same as it does when I take it away. Um. I'm gonna well, let's see. I'm gonna let this dry. I have an idea, so I'm gonna let it dry. Okay, so that is vellum. I think this is gonna look really cool when it dries. Look at that, it looks like a stormy sky. You can see the blue behind the clouds and then the angry black clouds. And you see that little bit of silver lining on them. Do this, it could be the lightning, <laughs> thunder and the lightning. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and then I have a couple of ideas to do with it. So I'm let it dry first. All right, let's go see what some of you are doing. All right, so, wow. Um, it is interesting how every single one turns out so differently. All right, this one is on vellum. Let's see if I can turn it sideways, if it will. There we go. All right, this is, whoops, I'm caught there. This is one Glennis on vellum. I actually see flowers <laughs> in that. That is cool. Um, there we go. Wow. All right. That is a, um, wow. That's like a pebbled speckled paper. Has the texture on it. Can you see the texture? And then when she did the ink, that's cool. Oh, nice. These would make really awesome backgrounds or die cutting things out. Ooh, that's a, um, a playing card. Look at that playing card that she did. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Must be the last one. Yeah. Okay. Um, Candy, did you send some? No. Yes. Let's see here. So those were Glennis's. Um, here's Candy's. Ooh. Oh, better that way. Look how cool. Those are gorgeous. Wow. All right. Um, ooh. Wow. I love how the different combinations of colors look so completely different too. Love the vibrant, vibrant colors there. Um, I'll have to go back and look at what you said about these candy. Oh my goodness, I see a camel head in that one. I like instantly saw a camel head only. Ooh, I love those. Those are really nice muted backgrounds. <laughs> yeah, that is super pretty. Um, okay, so these two were on vellum. I like what it does on vellum, actually. It moves. It's easy to work with. And, oh, these were Debbie's. Debbie? Oh, awesome. I love these, co these combinations of colors, the vibrancy. These are Debbie's. And I'm not an orange girl, but I'm really liking that. And I always love the purples and blues and pinks. The camel. Do you see the camel head in there? Does anybody see the camel head? Tell me it's not just me. I'm back. Okay. I don't know where Bill is. He must have gone to his friend's house. Uh, do you see the camel head in this photo? Or this alcohol ink drawing? 
Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> totally. It's the first thing I went to. Great big camel nose. The eye, the eye is looking right at you out the side. And then the shape, the top of the head. That was Debbie's. Debbie has some gorgeous ones. Look at this. Wow. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I vibrant. love the red. Love the vibrant. Look at that. That orange looks wow. right. I see, I see a rose up here with the center kind of closed and the outer outer leaves opening up really beautifully. And then there's the camel. And then let me show you candy. Art for sure. Let me show you candy and Glennis because let's see here. Here's candy. Oh, it's beautiful. Of colors. These are candies also. Yes. Gorgeous. Really, really pretty. And the second on world. vellum. <laughs> okay, here's Eric's on polar photo paper and a snip of wallpaper. All right. I have to tell you, I love Eric's. I love the muted, the way these are just muted together, muted tones. Those are so pretty. Eric, you did a great job. Good job. Really good job. I, I do too. That looks like a stormy sky or to me. Just die cuts, yeah. Or background. Mm-hmm. And then did you see Glennis's? This the pink one here is on vellum. Oh, it's beautiful. And then look at the can you see the texture in the paper? What color is that? That's beautiful. That looks like there's a green and a yellow and a silver. Glennis, you'll have to coming tell Coming up color, as a kind of a gray almost. The color she used on there. And look, she did a, a playing card. Wow. Playing cards are great because a lot of times they have a nice plastic coating. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Glennis, you'll have to tell us what color she used in that one. It looks great. Sharon would like to know. Silver and gray. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Back to the gloves, my sweaty, sweaty gloves. <laughs> I'm sure they've dried out by now. Mm. <laughs> no? <laughs> a little bit. I'm not where it's been That's rolled. It looks so cool. That's going to be so cool. Cut apart. Ah. Okay, that doesn't work. No, Julie, hubby's put me on a get lunch mission. Metallic gray paper with gunmetal and gold. Okay, that's why. It Let me see. Yeah, that's why. Oh, I probably, oh, there we go. I got dares. Ah, oh, dare. Gorgeous. Show us. Is that a plate? Is that a plate, dare? Oh, beautiful. Okay, what's the gold? Is it a die cut sitting on it? Or is it? Or is it? One of the little jewels? Alcohol ink mixed with a heavy body paste. It's one of the things I brought out to experiment with. Metallic gray paper. Ah, Glennis used the metallic gray paper. I recognized it with gunmetal and gold. Dare, is this on a plate? It is really pretty. And and then did it dry? Yeah. And are the um is that a stencil over it with with um, a mixative or an alloy mixed in with the heavy body paste. Um, let's see. That did really dull it. No, I know daddy's home. Stop. No, we were just, we were just down there. Stop it. I know daddy's home. I got it. <laughs> I know. So it looks super sparkly laying here, but when I pick it up, it is very dulled out and beautiful. Really? And I love the way around the edges, it's darker here. Uh -huh. I just feel like once those get cut out, they're going to look amazing. Yeah, some of, some of them look rusty. I think they will. Yeah. I think it needs a little bit more of that gunmetal though. Oh, come on. A little something to move it. So yeah. like this. That gunmetal is what's making it look uh, r rusty in those spots. Mm. And I am good with that. You know me. Mm -hmm. Love rusty. 
Okay, let's see here. Move this around. You know, I'm on, uh, I'm almost through this bottle and I couldn't figure out how I went through this bottle of blending solution so fast. Mm -hmm. um, I filled my pen. Oh, I forgot that yeah. when I got the pen and I ordered that, I filled it. So, Look at this black and gold one as it's dried. Wow, it's beautiful. I love all of the little lines in it. Yeah. Okay, this is the teal and black and gunmetal one on vellum. So this is like a stormy sky. You've got the, it's, it's got to go this way. You've got the blue sky behind and then the angry clouds. And then you can see that silver lining on the clouds or it could be thunder. Oh, it's down. so pretty. That is so pretty. And that's vellum. And the, I, I really liked how it moved on vellum. Your vellum must be thicker than mine. It worked quite well on that that's, vellum. That's all I can figure. Your vellum is thicker than mine. Mm, that is possible. All right, let me put a couple of these things. Mix it is. Um, let's see here. Wow, this is a great way to use this uh, really super glittery paper. Mm. I am really oh, liking that, it. Is that that glitter paper that I sent you? The so one you sent me? Yeah. Oh, oh well, cool. Which color? Which one? The gold one. Oh, wow. Okay. But I've yeah. added several colors of, I started with the brown. This is what she's using. Uh, just the huh? gold. This is what Sharon's using. Just this gold. It's gold sparkle. It's gold glitter paper is what it is. But the glitter's inside. It's smooth. That looks way cool. Yeah. Yeah, it really does. Was it the copper or the gold I started with, ladies? Because I haven't bowled out here. I don't know. Which I think one? it was the, I'm sure it was the gold. I think it was gold. Okay. But it really dulled with everything that I've added to it. The pearls really dull it down. Uh -huh. Even though they're sparkly, it's a different kind of sparkle. So they create like a serious dull, like at an angle when you turn it. Oops. And then the gunmetal looks like um, iron oxide. Looks oh, like rust. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, oh. let's try just oh, some. Oh, so cool! Let's I can't see. wait to cut these apart. Oh yeah, they are gonna be cool. Um, I'm gonna dry it real quick because I want to see if it needs and more. And let's see. What do you want to do on this gold? I'm thinking some. Red, what shade of red? Let's take a look at this. Let's oh, Derby said red. it's a resin poster. That uh, is great. okay. Oh, that's gorgeous. You made it just now or you made it another so, day? Are you playing with resin today? Um Okay. okay. Let's see. Where is... Okay, I'm going to set this over here to continue drawing. Man, that looks cool. Yeah, it does. I wish you guys could see the texture on here, what happened with it. Oh, I didn't turn it over. Let's see the back. Oh, didn't do anything spectacular. Mm. Still just paper. Although, that's moving like it's plastic paper. Wow. I wonder use the other side and the mineral maybe I need a little bit lighter puppy feel and shall we find out coral that's what I'll do okay and and what did I say mineral mineral mind where is mineral? There's mineral. All right. This gold paper, I don't like that it's not flat. Let's see if we can get it to stay down. Yeah, mine won't flatten out. 
I had to no, take them. I know they totally they're great for die cutting things out of, but yeah, that's the way they came all, all kind of rolled. Yeah. <laughs> was the weirdest thing if they get heated up they will flatten out hmm. i think they might be plasticky on the back too That's i'm gonna find cool. out here in a second kind of want to die i kind of want to emboss it i'm gonna i'm going to doing it hold on give me a minute find find one i have okay used. so i'm going to use i'm gonna do this and then i want to try something else on a uh, plain paper with the um, felt on the blending tool. Okay, so I've got poppy field and I've got coral out and then I have um, mineral pearl. I'm going to make sure I mix up my pearls better and you can look on the bottom if there's still stuff sitting on the bottom they're not mixed enough. That might be part of our problem with pearls. Yeah, that's really pretty, Dare. I love that you like to experiment on all these different kinds of things. I've put some things in molds this week. So I'm excited to take them out of the molds and experiment on um, putting things on them. Great, the fireworks are starting tonight. Doug's already gone to bed because he has to get up at 3.30. Lucy's not going to be happy with the fireworks. Okay, so let's start with some alcohol. And let's get some poppy field. And some coral and some mineral. Okay. out a little bit and then I'm going to do some gold um, let's see what do I want mixative or alloy I think mixative I think I want it to spread more than clump at least right away reactivate all that we'll add some gold mixative gold on the gold but it'll be like gold, red, gold, layered. Now it's looking like paper. The back of it. Uh, well, you can always do something to the back. Well, yeah. Um, I was just thinking if it was, because it feels like plastic. Mm -hmm. It might soak through. Who knows? But it's definitely stopping. Mm -hmm. This is why we like a non-porous surface right here. <laughs> right. Because otherwise you're just going to get dots. Right. Correct. Yep. It's like uh, it, it works like watercolor with alcohol inks. Mm-hmm. It's spreading a little. There is a little. Get it 
on there faster so I can do this faster. Let's see. Yep, it, there's no movement at all. Definitely paper, but it, it's even pretty. A bunch of alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Even paper can be pretty with it. It just doesn't move because it's, it's like the back thin. of those hearts. You know, mm -hmm. like that was what happened with the paper when it was over soaked. Okay, so here's some of that gold, that same gold um, sparkle paper with some poppy field. Um, what is it? Coral and a little bit of mineral and then a little bit of gold mixative on top to layer the gold, different color gold back in. Okay, so... I'm going to do, I'm going to put this off to the side for just a minute. And then I'm going to come back to it. Stable internet connection. There we go. Did you guys see me through that whole episode? And yeah. hear me? I didn't hear you. I just heard you when you said internet connection. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah. My... It started swirling on on my oh, okay. on my computer. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, isn't it? The way it bleeds out and okay. So I want two colors of alcohol and that. mixative. Two colors of alcohol and a mixative. What colors shall we use? Let's use a rose gold mixative because I haven't used that yet. I haven't used the silver. Ew, I haven't used the white either. Blue over here. Um, okay, so with the rose gold, what two, let's, maybe I should start with the colors. What two colors should I use? Looks like Christmas. It does kind of, Julie, huh? That would make great die cuts for Christmas. Um, suggestions as to two colors. Let's see. Oh, what strikes my fancy? Any two oh, colors. Have, wait a minute. Oh, I don't have mushroom, but I have pebble. Pebble is oh, darker. Oh, I would love one of those. Yeah, pebble is darker. It's it's uh it's not gray. It's darker than gray. Um, two colors. Ooh, cool Perry. I bet that's pretty. Um, what color is that? Yeah, cool Perry. It's like periwinkle. Put that with purple twilight. That would be pretty. Or amethyst. And one is wallpaper. Dust we will see. with the rose gold. Let's see here. Glenna said her hand can't do more. Are you using yeah. a puffer? Do yeah, something yeah, else. Use, use a dryer. Instead of it, yeah. moving. Yeah. It wears Do glass out your, or something. Wears out your hand, that's for sure. Um, so I will use the puffer more on this one. It is wallpaper. We will see how it works. This is a really vintage wallpaper. It should be wipeable, but we'll find out together and I can't seem to get tape to work All right, right. the rest of the purple <laughs> that's that purple. seven gypsies fan stamp on there Ooh. with them oh, um, yeah. boys and, whoops do I have two boys and berries I do I better use a lot of boys and berries what I'll do here boys and berry. oh that's really dark wow yes it does. um I just saw purple twilight. Where is purple twilight? And we wild plum. What does wild plum look like? Oh, well, that's redder. Purple twilight. 
Come on, where's Purple Twilight? Purple Twilight, there it is. Okay. Okay. All right. I am going to use Purple Twilight, Cool Perry, and Rose Gold. And I've never done this before, so this will be interesting. We'll get a card. In fact, I think maybe I will cut this in half and I can do it twice. Have two cards. Seven. So three and a half. They'll be small, but that's okay. It'll give me a chance to try this twice with two different colors. If I don't like it, I'll do it on the back with a different color. All right, so I'm going to take two colors and a mixative, and I'm going to put um, some purple twilight. I shouldn't put the lids back on until I'm done. Some <laughs> cool Perry. It's a habit, right? It it's is. Such... Put the lid on everything. Yeah, me too. Even my glue. I mean, and even while I'm saying, oh, I got to mix up the mixative. Yeah. And some, oh yeah, have to with the glue. Yeah. And some rose gold. Oh, Glennis did nine. Her hands can't do anymore. Well, that's just a ton. Glennis nine what, ton. Glennis? I want to mix it through with an old brush or something to control where it goes. Oh yeah. Okay. Glennis, now you I'm did nine what? Nine. Uh, pieces of art, pages, nine little pieces like of, papers. with, with uh, papers. Did yeah. you do them all in the same? Uh, did you do all the same thing? Because no, you I showed you several of hers. Each one was different. Oh, she might have. Well, one was on the, the card. Um, the others were papers and they were different colors. Okay, so well, now I I'm going to take this piece style. of paper and I am going to just Swipe it through. So this one is uh, hand sanitizer and alcohol mixed together. A little dropper. And it keeps it from being as fluid, I think. Okay, so I'm going to use red here. And I'm just trying to keep it within the fan. We'll find out. It's okay if it gets a little purple in between. I'm, I'm okay with that. There should be like good walls because I used that really thick paste. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's interesting how that how that is separating. I just swiped this card through. I see that oh, I wish I had a little more of the purple twilight, but I want to let that dry. It looks like it might be doing a dendric thing. Is it like a? Is it doing that? Like little branches? Like a tree? I'm um, kind of, sort of, down here. It is interesting. I'm definitely going to let it air dry and see. Oh, my goodness. That's, okay. I'm going to add more purple twilight because I wish that there was more in that one. I'm going to dry this real quick. And then a little more. So I can add more. that one. Okay, and I've got one more piece here, the other side of that. So I'm just going to swipe this through. Oh, wow. Oh, my. I'm oh wow. Stuff all over my dryer, all over my heat tool. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. That is a really cool looking. And I'm noticing how it changes as it's drying. Look at this. How it's changing as it's drying. Cool. And this one's got more of that purple twilight in it. I like it. Didn't that make a pretty background though? Look how simple that is. Put two colors and um oh you know what? I didn't even add any blending solution. I was going to do that. Two colors, mixative, and some blending solution. I didn't even add the blending solution. This is just two colors and a mixative. Well, I'm so you could do the blending solution it. and do another paper. Yeah, I'm going to have to keep trying it now because i gotta, I got to add blending solution. 
so let me grab another one. This one, I'll use, um, let me cut this one down. This is uh, some of that plastic, not Yupo, but the other plastic. Uh, craft plastic, right? Craft plastic paper, yep. Craft uh. plastic. Okay, so I'll give it a little more of that and a little more of that. A little more of that. That one. Although I feel like I had plenty. I might have had too much rose gold in it. I had plenty of rose gold. I wanted more of ooh, I love what they're doing as they're drying. Okay, blending solution. Look out, look how it just changes sitting here, how it starts going blah. Okay, gonna just drag this See through perfect. it. Yeah. I want to get this in too. I'm going to hold this and drip some blending solution down. And I think next I'm going to play with my pen and my uh, alcohol lip. Okay. Wow, look how cool this one is. This is with bonding solution. Oh, it's beautiful. So compare the two. Hold them up side by side. Oh, let's see. So what difference is that? I've got beautiful. three. So this one has blending solution. That paper's a little bit um and it I'm noticing as they dry how they move. It's so cool. I like letting them dry on their own. It's curved. Not liking that it's curved because it's making it hard to hold. I can't get it flat so that you can see. I don't want my fingers on it. But you can kind of see there. This one does not have blending solution. This one, as it dry, is looking like a sheet of metal. Oh, it just plain looks like it. a sheet of metal. And then this was the first one without blending solution too. It looks like a sheet of metal. Wow. I really love that. Look at these. Dig what it's doing. Look at that. As it dries, it's doing this on its own. I love the lines in it. Yeah, They're that's what it's doing on its own as it dries. That is super cool. I just wish it was a little flatter. Okay. So I can leave this here and add more colors, different colors on top of it, knowing that that's going to kind of mix in with it. Maybe I will. Maybe I will do that. I'm going to try some. Let's see. I need to get in there. It's beautiful. I'm going to set this off to dry. Do you see, I sprayed the alcohol on it and on this wallpaper where I sprayed the alcohol on, yeah. it made all the little cells, the little uh -huh. teeny tiny cells. Now I could probably take a brush and make bigger ones and flick it on um, cool. alcohol, but it really turned out pretty. And all I did was drip from the corners to the fan that's raised in that heavy paste. Okay, I'm doing black and gumball and I'm sticking with the rose gold. Hopefully that's still pretty mixed up. Just get a little more rose gold in there and blending solution. Watch, you see it now, but watch what it does when I add the blending solution. You can see it sizzle like it's in a pan. Because you, you use the pearl or a mixative? Yeah, well, no, when you add the blending, yeah, you can see the mixative, but yeah. when you add the blending solution, you see it all start to sizzle. Darn it. I hate it when I oh. use the wrong pan. 
Oh my goodness, look at this. <gasps> what colors did you add? I'm sorry. Wow, now wait till that starts to dry and that rose gold is going to be amazing. Uh, what's pitch the red? Black, pitch uh -huh. black, it's gumball. A bright that pink gumball. gumball. Yeah, but bright it pink gumball. Red. I know, and rose gold. All mixed together, it looks red. And as it dries and starts making those cool. When it starts separating. Yeah. yeah. Starts making the cool cells and lines and shapes. Oh my goodness, so, I love that. You could use plastic, uh, the clear packaging and paint uh -huh. it right on the back. Uh -huh. um, when you put white behind it, it looks completely different. All um, right. So if you paint the back white, and then do your alcohol ink on front, you could create some artwork to hang up in your house. Just use a frame and use the glass from the frame. Cool. I mean, look at that. Look what happened. This is just my yeah, palette. Yeah. That is that really is cool. cool. Okay, look okay, at this look one at this as one it's drying. It, dry. it no. really looks yeah, like a sheet looks like of metal. metal. And Sorry, know, I'm sometimes not telling you no. A sheet of metal and you see all the different colors in it. It's beautiful. In the sun that's what that looks like and then this one same thing looks like a sheet of metal sometimes it's when they've been um, around heat the metal starts to get all the colors oxidizes and that's cool and and the very cool one with the blending solution look at that as it's drying on its own I'm going to do this a little differently here Oh, wow. That's my favorite one. I love that. These are, yeah, there's some great Halloween's one in there. Halloween ones in there, purple. Um, I better clean that. I don't want to waste that. I'm going to flip it over. And then I'm going to tape it down. Okay. So, Kimball says that there is not glycerin. Yeah. In I want to say that there should be because of the way it feels. It seems like it's glycerin, but I know yeah, he has said that there's not I, glycerin. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. There are other, I'm sure that there are other additives that can kind of do the same thing, but I don't okay. know. Clear gesso. I'm going to check my papers here because I'll check a couple of them. And then um, I want to use this because I haven't used it yet. So this is clear gesso from here down. Some of them I wrote on the front and some I wrote on the back. Um, and I just want to see if they work. I'm not going to try to move it or do anything special. I'm just going to see if uh, the gesso seals the paper enough to make it work. It doesn't look like it because I'm already getting the alcohol bleeding through. But it's not over yet. Check this out. Sorry, Jen, using pink. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, wow. Nope, that's my favorite. Okay, you know what this is? That would be so gorgeous on a tile. That would. That's a uh -huh. regular, regular piece of paper. It's a regular really? piece of paper. It's a uh, heavy paper, a light, a really light cardstock. Just I add, just added some blending solution to pick up what's already on on my. It's not coat. coated. Nope. Hold it because up. I, because I'm not looking to move it around. I right, totally it was already see, there. Yeah, I, I see totally mountains. See, yes, I totally see a winter snow scene. I see pine trees and mountains. That is so. You know how Japanese the Japanese uh, yes. uh, ancient yes, technique where they did everything in a plane that went completely up so uh -huh. that they could, it wasn't the depth that we see now in paintings. It was all like, um, uh, everything was tipped up almost. That's uh -huh. what that reminds me of. It looks different when I look at it directly than when I look at it on the screen. And I turn Still it upside not. down, not as cool. I turn it this way, way better. It on its side. No, I like the mountains. I like the Japanese mountains. Here's this way. 
Nope, now it looks like a mountain's on its side. Yeah, I totally see the Japanese mountains too. Yeah. Ah, that's cool. I love that one. I love I love all of these. I love what they're doing. Okay, so I've still got this stuff down here and I've still got some plain paper sitting here. You know, trying glycerin does not hurt, guys. That's the whole point. Experimenting is getting to know new ways to use it, maybe a way that no one else has tried or maybe yeah. a way that somebody said didn't work, but maybe it'll work for you. Right. Maybe it's um it's not just about learning how to use these products, you know. I know that clear gesso does not work unless I'm going for this look, you know. You never know. So I'm going to keep this for reference so I know not to use clear gesso with it. Or if, if, you I'm, do, go, if I'm not going for that look. Yeah. Um, let's see. We'll do a couple okay. more of this one. Look at this one. Hold on just a second. It has a lot more of the darker purple, and I'm seeing a lot <laughs> less of the rose gold mixative. There's a lot of stripes in that. Crazy, crazy. It will look cool as it dried. This one is the vinyl, the vi the white vinyl that I have on my table. A lot of you have the white yes. vinyl. That's what this is. Crackle. So you could do this white vinyl and you could cut a um, book cover out of it and make a very cool book cover. Um, I'll let this dry because I could do something on top of it as well. All right, where is my paper? Where are my paper towels? There they are. Okay, so when you get the alcohol ink on your glass table like this, if I put something else down to do it, then I'm going to have this. I'm going to get purple all over the back of it. You want to get it up, just put some um, hand sanitizer. Are you going to waste that? You're going to waste that. Uh, just because we're experimenting and wanting to move on to something else. You know, <laughs> just for time. I know. I didn't say I'm throwing away the paper towel. Pull a, dry, pull a die cut through it or something. Or a sticker. Pull a sticker through it. Yeah. And hand sanitizer just cleans it up right away. All the alcohol, all the ink, all the mixatives and blending solution. This is crackle medium on photo, <laughs> but it's on photo paper. So oh, yeah. uh, I wanted to see if it would actually crackle. Never know. Yeah, it should. Um, you can add I, alcohol ink to crackle medium, to texture paste, to um, heavy body paste. I brought out some heavy body paste and I brought out some texture sand. The texture I, that I did with the stencil was heavy body paste and mm -hmm. uh, a soft gel mm. medium. Yeah. Um, so anything that you saw that had those textures tonight, that's what it was. Let's okay, see. so I've got, let's go back to the sailboat blue. We're going to see if it crackles. I can't work this at all. I need to just put it on and see what it does. Lid. Here we go. I don't think it's going to work, but it might seal the paper enough that it works differently. Like, because it is a lot different than regular glue when you put it on like the texture feels different mm -hmm. so i feel like it does have movable quality i don't think it's going to crackle so we'll give it a minute to see and if it doesn't crack it's not going to then i'll see if it moves look at your mountains your japanese mountains wow that cool that's amazing and look at this one Wow. Great. I say leaves. Illustrations. There, this was the black and gumball one and rose gold. I think I'd it go back like over this, even put a little bit of gumball. I can see gumball here, and then over here it looks red. It is cracking. It is cracking. Cool. I maybe put too much. Look here. Do you see this? Hold on, let me oh, get that yeah. up there. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I do. I don't think it's showing. I'm looking at the screen. Um, I think there's I'm some gonna... pretty good crack right there. Uh -huh. There's some good crack right there. <laughs> yeah, there's some good crack. <laughs> that is some good crack. Well, I think maybe if I had put the crackle medium on thinner, because uh -huh. okay. maybe thick in some spots, it's starting to happen here and here too. I am shocked. Okay, I need some another combination of colors. How about, um, let's see. So this says to me, if I'm going to do a mixed media, like a 3D sort of piece, and I want to put some crackle medium on, but then I want to put some alcohol ink, drip it down over it to get down into the grooves, it's mm -hmm. going to crack still. That's what it says to me. And that is a bonus, I think. So yeah. it's not happening down here. So I am going to put a drop of, of this on here on the blending solution and see if it moves. Cause I think it's going to, yeah, it's working like Yupo. All right. That was a, uh, that was a good experiment. Okay. I have no idea what these colors are going to do together, but I'm going to try moss and botanical and sienna. And what I'm going to do is with the, blending tool i've got a piece of felt on it and i'm going to put um a few drops of each of these on the blending tool wow again i'm not i'm no, sorry this is uh, this is felt again you do not want to use your blending brushes it will absorb right in and you will lose all of your alcohol Okay, and Start then right here and here, oh. I'm going to pounce it. Can't pounce. I pounce and drag. Oh. Pounce it on the paper. This is a piece of the plastic craft paper, the the alternative to Yupo that I bought. Now, what, when I put it down, you can see all the little tiny d drops that I put on here. But as it sits there a minute, you see that they start to blend together. So it goes down like little tiny dots, and then it blends and melts, melts together. I'm not dragging it around. I'm merely pouncing it to put the color down. That's all I'm doing. Let's color this, um, cover this completely. Sometimes I like to leave the white. This one, I want to go ahead and cover it to make it a nice background. Okay, so as it, and the drier it got, the more it stayed in those little tiny cells. But the first ones that I put down, look how they just kind of melted in together. Now, let's try spraying it with alcohol. So we're going to spray, spray it with a whole bunch of little drops. And let's see what happens to it on its own. Not doing anything to it. Oh, wow. Right away. I hope it stays like that. Look at this. It I like love that. Hammered. It looks yeah. like hammered copper. I have look in the middle. It's starting to blend together. They're all starting to blend together. So I wonder if I sprayed it less, if it might. I love that hammered look. That I wish it would stay that way, too. But it's kind of not. It's. Uh, I think you could dry it right away uh, with a, mm -hmm. you know, a drying tool to uh, get it to stay like that. That's mm -hmm. what stops it from spreading more. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let this dry, and then I'm gonna hit these spots again with the alcohol, and I'm gonna dry it right away to see if I can get it to keep these cool spots. Although I don't know, it's kind of those. Those blended ones are kind of cool in the middle of the little spots. It makes it not all the same. I don't want to mess up where it's... Uh... The edges are different on all of these, too. They've kind of bled out mm -hmm. um, because it's crackled paste and because it's so thick. So it would probably bleed out like that with some other mediums. 
you mm -hmm. have to know which is which. Uh, but I don't want to mess up where it's cracking. So I'm only playing with it around it. Uh-huh. I'm looking for copper. Copper, copper mixative. No, I would like a copper alloy. That is called mind. That oh, does look like a lava glow at night. <laughs> oh, yeah, great. it's very, very autumn colors. This is moss. You don't think of moss as being a great color. It's kind of, you know, just the guy that hides in the corner. But and it really adds something cool and uh, botanical and sienna. I love moss. We have a lot of moss around here. Mm -hmm. And I go out to the forest and collect it for, for projects and for plants. Mm -hmm. I Sometimes I tell Bill we need to go on a drive because I'm out of moss. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's an excuse, but, you know, I have to have sure. something for forest every time we go sure. so all right now if, i put a few drops of copper on it and now i'm just going to spray the copper but the copper doesn't really move because that's an alloy and it is meant to clump so unless i make it move okay. it doesn't move on its own with the alcohol So if I spray the whole thing and make it wet enough, wet enough for it to move, I can move that. Ah, I'm spraying the things behind it. I shouldn't, don't want to do that because I like them the way they are. <clears throat> Every time you spray it with alcohol, you're going to reactivate ink in some manner and it's going to change. <clears throat> So it's starting to crack in some other places where I've thinned it out. Cool. Like normally you can't overwork something. If you want it to crackle, you leave it alone. And mm -hmm. I'm noticing where I'm thinning it out in some places, it's starting to crack. Because right, it's cool. like the, the crackle is too thick because, you know, mm -hmm. normally you, sl you yeah. put it on with a card or um, a palette yeah, knife. Yeah, I know that maybe if you put it on a little, a little uh, thinner that... It might crackle sooner. Yeah, but the fact that it's crackling after is kind of amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, it's starting to crackle here. The crackle here, I wish you guys could see. It's pretty cool. Um, but that that that's uh, this is good to know for a mixed media project for the future. Sure. That's the best to know what it does. That's like when you're doing something and you're like, I wish I could make something do this. I wish I knew how to make this do this. That's what the experiments do. Or if I'm out of something or I'm I'm trying to get that look, um, mm -hmm. that crackle look, or I want to put crackle medium on and then way later I want to add uh, alcohol or uh, alcohol ink. Is it going to work? You know? Mm -hmm. I need to bring my lazy Susan back up here. So I wrote on the back of this that there's crackle paste on it. So I know, and I'm going to put this over to dry and hopefully it'll continue to crackle some more. And that's crackle on photo paper. paper. Oh, nice. Okay. Now look at this with um, copper in it. It kind of looks to me like a really super cool granite with that natural copper from the earth in it. Hey, Robin. Hi, Good night, Robin. Laura. Oh, just glad you're here. Good night, Laura. Zero bright paper. Is similar to you go in that they're both synthetic different from the plastic film interesting lucy what i got what i got durabrite i'm gonna have to remember that i might ask you again i got the this um graphics oh graphics okay. no that's the one i got well, i think lucy i got the same one 
Okay, L Lucy's saying Durabrite is similar to Upo. This, and this this graphics is um, similar to Upo. I'm liking it. This is this is that graphics um, craft plastic. I'm loving as this one's drying. I'm loving it even more. Very, very cool. I'm, I'm mucking it up with these gloves. This is a yeah. Crafters Workshop Soft Gel Medium. Okay. On regular cardstock. Okay, let me bring this vellum one back in here. And look I'm at this go. now. Does that not look like the clouds during the middle of a monsoon storm, people in Arizona? And that's on vellum. So oh, beautiful. The, the cells on that. I love the blue sky behind it. It just yes. it look, oh. just reminds me of a storm. Okay, Wherever it's soaking through, through, I know guide. it's not going to work. This is yes, the one no. on the on the gold glitter paper with poppy field oh. and coral, and then some gold. That's interesting. Hmm. That took on a whole different look there. I'm still loving these purple ones that I just swiped. Those are, I think, pretty awesome. Hey, this works. As long as it's thick enough, I can see where I didn't put it thick enough. So soft gel medium on regular cardstock works like Yupo. Mostly. Okay, cool. That's my favorite one, too, the, or my second favorite one, the... Uh, Oh, the one that I got in the great big bottle that I refilled my favorite bottle with, which is my favorite one is the Crafters Workshop Soft Gel Medium. That is my mm. absolute favorite. This one is, the one I'm using is the one from Big Bottle uh -huh. that I tried to replace this with. And that is um, Handy Art uh, Acrylic Medium. Okay. Just in case All anybody right. is wanting so, to, I mean, that's fairly cheap um, and worth the, the money. And I mean, you can glue things with it, you know, like pretty heavy duty things, do some uh, assemblage mixed media style, um, mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. It's a little thinner than a paste, but anyway. And that's that. That's the bag, Jack. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring. Oh yeah, it's back. totally working. See it separate. I want to do something on top of this. Oh yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So this I'm not gonna do anything with it. I just want to know that it works. Problems. And I'm going to. Um. 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 And that was my mixture of a hand sanitizer and uh, alcohol. So it kind of stays in place more. Uh -huh. And doesn't evaporate as quickly. So I'm going to go set this over here to dry so I know that that works and I'm not going to keep working it. I can see the shine on there. Okay. Off to do your swatches. Good night, dear. Thanks for hanging out with us. Good night, this dear. Fun. Okay, I hope you had fun and got to play too. That on a flat spot, and let's get a little bit of rose gold. So I want to use. Um, that alcohol lift ink. Mm -hmm. I'm getting 
guessing I should use it on, I don't have any Yupo. I, what I have here is. Try that craft plastic. Um, I could, but I just don't think, I think yours might be thicker than mine. I do have is two different kinds craft here. Plastic? It is the same one. Um, that's the craft plastic that I, or no, this is the vellum. Sorry. This is the, the vellum might be thicker than yours. Yeah. I would try yeah. the craft plastic. Oh, I have some of this cut up already. Cause I was, I cut some up last night, um, getting ready while I cleaned off my desk. You have a little bit more, um, uh, wallpaper here too. All right. We're going to try that. I just don't think it. Uh, I don't know. Is yours th thin like this? Vellum? You're, no, it's not vellum. It's No, maybe this one is vellum. That is vellum. Hold on. I think I cut both. Because it feels like vellum. This is vellum. It's not more like the craft plastic. The craft plastic is white and thick and you cannot see through it. Um, mine it's is not super thick. It just feels like paper. It feels like cardstock. Maybe I just cut up the vellum. Mine is slightly. Maybe you forgot uh, to cut it. You forgot to grab it. It's here. Nope, that's the same stuff. See, can you see through it like this? No, that's not craft plastic. That's it definitely is. vellum. That's what it says it is in Amazon. That's what this is. That is um, not craft plastic. Wow. So maybe mine is a different brand. Look, this is craft plastic. Well, this is called craft plastic, but it is see through. It might be thinner, but yeah. I think it's going to buckle just the it same. Looks, yeah, it looks like vellum. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I don't want to play with it if it's going to buckle. That doesn't make me happy. Um, my vellum <laughs> didn't buckle. I'm my vellum going... didn't buckle. It's a little, um, it's a little bit curved because it came off of a roll of vellum, but it didn't buckle. And maybe. So I've got this. I'll play with this one first. So I want to see if I can get. Um, I've got a little texture on here, some of the letters. And then I'm going to see if I can use the alcohol lift ink and a stamp in these blank areas to see if it'll work. So, on, and this is photo paper. Okay, got her. What? Lucy? Oh, Lucy, Lucy just said there's the different thickness for craft plastic, and that makes sense. Mm, that, well, yeah, I guess it would make sense. I thought craft plastic just meant that it was thick like paper and that if that was. Um, well, mine's that stuff is not called vellum. It is called wow. I, it is craft. Plastic. Okay. Yeah. So then it's just a super thin craft plastic. Okay. I have vellum that feels similar too, though. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This is the piece of the vinyl. And. I didn't like it, so I just added some more stuff to it. I, it needs to dry. It needs to dry and see what happens. Um, but I need a paper towel because I can feel stuff on the bottom from my Brown. vinyl that it's sitting on. There's fireworks going on all around outside because today is a state holiday. and It is? Stupid people doing fireworks again, scaring my puppy. It is the 24th of July. It's the founding of, of Utah. Really? So, hmm. Yeah. The, uh, the day Utah was settled so, um, by the pioneers. Okay. So the reason, you, part of the reason you use felt, just this thin, cheap felt on these is because they're disposable. You take this off and you throw it away. You don't want to keep those, even though they have cool ink on them, because they have alcohol ink. They are highly flammable. 
So throw them away and you can grab another one. This one I'll do with a rectangular one. Aren't they and also flammable in your trash can too though? Well, yeah, you don't want to leave them piled up in your trash can either. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you don't want to leave them sitting on your desk and say, oh, I'm going to keep these and I'll do something with them. You know, they'll look cool. Um, I'll do something, but like we do with all our papers and everything else. Okay, so this is a piece of the craft plastic. Um, I want two colors and what do I want? Two colors and a mixative or two colors and a pearl. I want to do um, what's something that I haven't done. Ooh, maybe a yellow, orange, and pink, like a sunrise, a sunset. That would be pretty. Um, yellow. We've got sunshine yellow. Okay. And orange. Valencia. Sunset. How about we try sunset orange? <laughs> that would be pretty for sunset, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Flamingo pink, um, Fiesta, Bubblegum. Uh, what other pinks do I have? It would be good sunset. Hmm. I don't have a lot of pinks. Guess that's it. Well, I do have Enchanted. That's a pearl. Um, I don't know. What the heck? Well, got that red too. Uh, let's do it. And if it's not dark enough, then I can add something to them after they're on the paper. That's what I'll do. I still want to do something with patina. I haven't done anything with patina yet. <laughs> Everything I do is patina. <laughs> I mean, the patina color. The patina yes. color. Ooh. Oh, the color. Look what the I just did. patina color alcohol ink. Do you see what just happened here? I was just trying to pick up the color from that. And I used my roller over it. Oh, cool. And picked up the stencil. Wow. Like a yeah. stencil. Yep. Wow. Awesome. Dull. Yeah. Okay, out. this is that sparkly Disney enchanted princess pink. We're going to see what that does. So first I'm going to use sunshine yellow because we're going for like a sunset here. So we'll put some sunshine yellow drops. And then we're going to use, let me just put the lid by it, um, Sunset yeah. Orange. Wow. Should add to that pretty well. Sunset Orange. Don't put the lid on, just set it down. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to use... Enchanted, or the one I always think of as Princess. Princess Pink, um, Enchanted Pink. And I have a feeling that afterwards I'll want to add a little bit of red into this sunset, but we'll see. Okay, and then again, I'm just going to daub it on. I'm not going to swipe it. I'm not going to do anything except stipple it, daub it, whatever you want to call it, straight on, tap it. I'm tapping it on, tapping it on the surface. Oh, okay. Enchanted is a pearl and it's going to give that super cool pearl essence. I got enough on there to do something else too. All right. It's going to have that cool pearl. So you can see the pearl essence in there, even though the colors are all melting, still melting together. You can see the pearlescent here and there throughout. Those, that's good sunset colors. So as soon as that dries, it's almost dry. As soon as that dries, I'm going to spritz it 
with a little bit of alcohol and that'll be droplets and let's see what it does all by itself all by myself don't want to no. be oh it's one of my favorite songs okay dry just about dry. okay as it's dry now you can see the shimmer of that pearl come out see that pink enchanted pearl just shimmering behind the yellow and the orange okay i'm going to give it some spritz pretty there oh now just watch what's cool is that you can see it ch change right before your eyes once you spritz it with alcohol i love watching it move things that it does that is cool what a great background that would be or cutting out die cuts of words or um, a sunshine or a sunset i do feel like i'd love to have a little bit of red in there i'm gonna go look at the alcohol pearl i'm gonna dry this real quick reception okay that is red I only want a tiny bit. So how can I get a tiny bit of that on without adding a whole bunch? Um, because I don't want to spritz it. I don't you know. That reminds me, you know how we put alcohol in the spritzer and we spray it. Don't ever put blending solution in here and spray it or in anything and spray it it's the same thing as with the straw if this is sprayed into the air and you happen to accidentally get a little spray on your eyeball remember the resin that's in the blending solution that is formulated to bond two things yeah now you got resin bonded to your eyeball so please don't ever put blending solution in the sprayer all right, how am I going to put red on? And I only want a tiny bit. I can't spray it on. I don't want hold. I know. I know. Let's see if this will work. Um, let's see if it'll work with the... Oh, I don't know. That won't work. Ah. Well, okay. Okay, I love this. I was going to... I'm going to use... Um, the alcohol lift ink but look at this i my mind is blown right now at this that's uh, really cool uh, i do love that love uh, that patina look it looks so old yeah it does it's it reminds me of something and i'm not sure what i love it um, do I, do I love it so much that I'm not ready or prepared to use alcohol ink on it or lift ink on it? Uh, <laughs> that may be, I mean, maybe it, just I in mean, a couple can, spots. You can use uh, lift ink on anything. So texture, if you really love it the way it is, texture stamp, that's use it. texture stamp, grab it, grab it, grab it, hold on. Um, So, I was showing you earlier, I got this new one um, that oh, I am so excited about. This. Oh, yeah, uh, I love that. I really love that. So, I actually, I'm just going to use it like a texture stamp, so I'm not going to uh, put it on, on a block. I just want to, oh my gosh, this is hard to do in gloves. Yeah. <laughs> won't come out of the plastic um yeah okay see if i can stamp it in gloves even. this one might be a good one for me to do the lip <clears throat> ink with so i think cool is probably my favorite color here i like cool. i keep using it and loving it cool is very pretty so we're gonna find out if this works on the photo paper 
let me get this all dirty with this um, stamp I've used twice. Um, I think here. I think I better clean this. That's not cool. I guess it's going to get dirty with alcohol ink, isn't it? Uh, it shouldn't because you um, put it on and then you don't take it back to your ink pad. It would be fun to use just white pigment ink over something mm -hmm. like this with some texture uh -huh. here yes. and there. Because then yes. it comes out like a lift, but it comes out more mm -hmm. white. Yes. That or my true. white um, marker paint pen. That is true. Okay. So you had an alcohol, ah. uh, alcohol lift ink pad. Yes. I've got one of those, but I pulled out this alcohol lift ink in a little bottle just so people can see that it comes multiple ways. And let's see, I need on um, what stamp should I choose? I think this is a good one for me to do that on. Let me get a stamp here. A brand new ink pad, and I feel like it's not juicy at all. Yeah. Um, let me see. I I different. it. I know what one I want. I'm going to close this up real quick. Mm. Okay. I'm going to find a smaller stand. Maybe that's easier to get in all the little crevices there. I'm just looking for a stamp. Oh, this one might be cool. I have to take these gloves off. Let's see here. Oh. Whew, I feel so sweaty. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, let me put this on the glass. Put that glass out of the way. Um, I'm gonna get a so I'm going to try just putting the alcohol lift ink right onto my glass mat here. And then I'm going to Take um, use these just for fun. Oh, I didn't realize that this is not in camera where I'm doing this. I did it on my glass mat that's right next to my Lazy Susan. Um, I put, I dropped some of this alcohol lift ink on onto my glass. And then I picked a stamp. And I put the stamp on a block, acrylic block, and then I um, rubbed it around, stamped it around in the alcohol lift ink. Does it matter how uh, much ink is on there? Or does it, um, I mean, uh, I'll have to get ink, through many layers, I'm guessing. Yeah, the, the more that's on there, the more the ink you will remove. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um. There's another technique I want to do. Maybe this would be a good one to do it on. Okay, so, oh, that's really cool. 
I need that to dry fast, though. I don't want that dripping because that kind of. Um, let's see, paper towel. If you ever need to soak up some alcohol ink, grab a paper towel. Don't blot it on the alcohol ink though. Just put it next to it and it will wick it up. It will wick up the ink. This is um, I can see it in there, but I can't, it's not drastic enough. Hmm. I thought maybe I needed a larger surface area. Okay, let's. Mm -hmm. This okay, is brand so, new. That's well, irritating. So, guys, if um, when you go to lift, get one of that all dry. You don't want to take this and start smearing it around, or all you do is smear your lift ink everywhere, and it will lift up everywhere. Just smear around. You want to blot, blot it over the image that you've stamped to lift up the ink. That's there. What'd you do? When you go to lift it up, you want to blot to get the lift ink up. Because if you start rubbing it, then you're just going to smear the lift ink around and it will just smear really? your image you just stamped down. Yeah, so blot it up. And then once it's up and it's dry, then you can you can do that. But if you start... Um, Didn't know I needed to do that. Yeah, but, but if you... If you do that while you still have blending, is that well, yeah? If you do it while you have blending ink down there, then you you just look at that. Look how cool that is. Mine doesn't show up at all. Then you smear blending ink around. Can you see my lady face? Oh yeah, she's got lashes for days. She's man. got lash. She's got yours and mine both. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, Pull out the big guns here. I really want to. Okay. So. I'm going to give that a little spritz with alcohol. And I'm going to wipe it. With paper towel. Get it nice and clean. And to put it back on there. Okay. So are you you're supposed to wipe it? Well, no, first you're supposed to blot it, dab it to get up. Let's see. I'm going to do these dandelions down. That can be what she's looking at. Um, because you have alcohol lift ink on it. And if you wipe it, then you just smear that around and it's going to start lifting it all up and you won't see your cool image. So the first thing you do is. Uh, dab blot to get the alcohol lift ink up and as soon as you've removed the link then you can rub it to help it okay I just set that right in all that nice alcohol lift ink that was brilliant Marianne brilliant I tell you gonna need a little bit more then since I messed that up okay only one drop that will work so what I did is I just put a drop or two of this alcohol lift ink down on my glass mat. And then I'm taking my image and I'm going to just stamp it around in that drop, spreading that drop out. I only put one drop down for this because it's just a dandelion, not a great big image. Spread it around and I make sure that the whole thing got some on it. Then I'm going to bring it over. And I'm going to put that, maybe she's looking down on that with her eyes kind of closed and blowing, making a wish, blowing the dandelion out. I don't want to push it too hard because I don't want to force the alcohol ink you know, around outside the stencil or the stamp and end up uh, blurring the image. But I am going to hold it down a minute to make sure I get good transfer of the alcohol ink to the paper. So holding it down, but not pressing it down. 
for not, you know, holding it firmly, but not pressing it hard. You know, have you ever stamped something with the ink and then and you push it down really hard and you pick it up instead of, ni of a nice crisp line? You have this big old wide line of your stamp because you press so hard. So now, if you look at it, you can see, let me see if I can get that where you can see. Um, hopefully you can see, there's my dandelion. Dandelion is wet with the lift ink. So if I take my paper towel and I start rubbing it, I'm going to rub that lift ink all over left and right, and it's going to start picking ink up all over, and I'll just end up with a blurry mess. So the first thing to do is dab. I'll keep moving because I don't want to dab and move it. Dab up the lift ink. And as it comes up, it's revealing my dandelion stamp. Go down the stems. Once you get it dabbed up, so now there's no alcohol lifting on it that can just smear everything, then you take a clean spot of paper towel, and now you can go around and rub it like this, and look how clear into view that stamp comes. Isn't that cool? So there, she's blowing, making a wish on the dandelions with her mile long lashes closed. Okay, so that worked quite well. I don't have any of that stamp cleaner um, that gets blending solution and um, the alcohol lifting and stuff off of it. So all I'm gonna do is give this a little spritz over my trash can of alcohol and then wipe it with the paper towel really good to make sure I get all that, any ink, any alcohol lift ink, all of that off of it. And then I have a super clean stamp still. Okay, so that worked quite well. So that, I mean, say you don't have a white pen to do something on top. You know, you want to write a word, happy birthday or something, and you don't have a white gel pen handy or whatever you want to write it with, you can take a happy birthday stamp, just put it on some, some lift ink and put it on there, lift up the ink and reveal a white um, happy birthday. Now, here's another trick. If you do this in a Misty or any other stamping um, platform, if you put this down, and if I had put those dandelions or her face um, down where I wanted it, then lift it up with the platform, um, I could clean that off and I could go put more lift ink on it and go back again after I did this and do it again and lift up even more to get it whiter and whiter. You could do that a couple of two or three times if you wanted to. That's the advantage of do, using a, a Misty or a stamping platform for your alcohol lift ink. But um, unless you want it, you know, super white all the way through, um, pretty good results if you get it on your stamp that use an alcohol lift stamp pad, which I've got over here, or the ink like I had, just put it down, make sure you get it on your stamp. Um, and for me, I found that the key was just holding it down for a minute, to give that ink a chance to transfer and adhere to my surface. If I just stamp it and pick it up, it hasn't had time um, to transfer. So just hold it down for a minute, but not press. So, oh, so that's the pen you're using and that's not working? No, this isn't working. The pad, this brand new pad, I only just got it dirty now. I've never used it before. Yeah, the pad isn't working. That's mm -hmm. interesting. Is that on, um, what kind of paper is that on? Photo paper. Okay. I wonder if the kind of paper makes a difference. Probably. I have no idea, but I wonder if photo paper, is this photo paper or is this? Well, and I'm getting the marker to work a little bit, but uh -huh. not a lot. Oh, yeah. Nope, no worky worky. Wow. I thought maybe it was dry, but it is not. You know what? No, I'll bet it's the photo paper. I'll totally bet it's the photo paper. I can still go over it with like black ink on this. Yeah. Or white, white gel pen or white, a white, white ink. 
yeah. a white marker. Or because I really, really like what happened here. Yeah. That was just me time. pressing one onto the other that oh, had wow. a lot of ink on it. That's just what's left over. That's cool. Yeah. That is really cool. All right. So what have I got here that I haven't tried yet? But I oh. think this is my favorite today. My favorite of the day. Um, I love that. Right here. Yeah, that's my favorite. I absolutely love that. I have to try some black. I really have to try some black. I love metallics on black. What else? I wonder, wonder how some of these would show up. Hmm. All photo paper is not created equal as well. Um, no, that is true. You know that they are all different. Some of them uh -huh. will be printed on the back. Some of them are blank on the back. Some of them are higher quality and might That's be cool. more plasticky. So, I mean, I'll never discount because they're all going to be different. That's true. Okay, somebody asked about white today. I don't remember who asked about white. Are you here? Um, <clears throat> one bottle lift, please. I want to do so this um, one I did backwards. I have a phone with photo paper. Um, Julie or Glennis, what does that mean? One bottle lift, please. Uh, not oh, she wants ink. a bottle of lift ink. Oh. <laughs> it's the same as the blending solution, <laughs> isn't you. it? Wow. What? Isn't it the same as the blending solution? No. It, it, it's let's... not? It is like the ink in the pad, the alcohol lift ink. Not the same as the... What is different? I mean, they feel the same. They do the same thing, technically. And this is what you fill this with. Right? That's a blending pen. That's not a lift pen. Right, but it does lift. Does it? Yes. Did it okay? Did it work? Hmm. That's what makes me feel like. This is probably the same. I, I don't think that they're the same thing. Huh? I don't think that they're the same thing. Um, if it lifted, you know, that's awesome. But a, I know a blending pen, a blending pen helps it move so you can blend the two colors together or go from a dark shade to much lighter. Like if you're doing a flower and you want that gradation. I, I know but, what. Yeah. Blend, but I'm, blending I, means. But I just. But what I'm saying is I don't think I could do, and I'm saying that for everybody who's listening, I don't think I could do that with alcohol lift ink. I think it would just lift it up. So I don't think that they're the same thing. I don't remember who asked about white. Um, Clay-coated paper. Nice. That, would, that is their, um, uh, Yupo is clay-coated, isn't it? Isn't that what makes it? Um, I don't know. I believe so. I don't know. Uh, some Somebody during the sale today asked about white. And um, when we first started tonight, somebody said something about white. I have two whites. They're both mixatives. One is pearl and one is snow cap. So pearl is more of like the pearlized, uh, the pearl flatbacks that we put on projects and the snow cap is pure white. It's still pearly because it's a mix. Oh, I want it's that one. Pearly, the white. But it's not, but it's, yeah, but it's not the same pearlized as the pearl. It actually, it's almost like it tints or tones your, um, mm. any of your other colors. Uh -huh. That's possible. So I'm going to try this black um, alcohol ink cardstock. And so I'm thinking to use the pearl. What color should I use with the pearl that might show up? Should I use only mixatives and alloys? Is there a pearls or mixatives or alloys? Is there an ink color that might show up very cool like on there, especially with the black? Um, <clears throat> this intrigue and then let's see what metal would we want probably a 
silver. Uh, silver mixative. All right, let's get all three of these going. All right, let's see. Mm. Tina says all three are different. Lucy says uh, the clay coated paper. Okay. Julie says I love blending distress oxide onto photo paper. Let it dry and then buff it off with a tissue. Ooh, do some some colors. That. Yeah. Cool. Lucy says lift ink is different than blending ink. Mm -hmm. Yupo is plastic. It melts. Ask me how I know. Julie says uh -huh. it is. It is. It is plastic craft paper, which is why that alternative to Yupo that I ordered that I watched the. So I don't. I wish I could remember who it was because I certainly didn't find it. But the lady that I watched do a video and she went looking for something that was comparable to Yupo. And it, it's just a, a plastic craft paper. Um, let's see. Black scratch board has a thin coat of clay before the India ink. Uh, Yupo. Black scratch. So uh, isn't Yupo it is a synthetic made from, okay? So yeah, Lucy says Yupo is a synthetic made from polypropylene pellets. So yeah. I saw that Tim Holtz does he sell a clay coated tag? Is that what it is? Does he sell what? A clay coated a tag. tag. Oh, I don't know. I hear it. That I that I do not know. Um. Well, I thought I heard him say that maybe he was using alcohol inks on a clay coated tag mm -hmm. uh, or a clay coated paper. He has a clay coated paper though, doesn't he? Uh, that I don't know either. I, I know he has a clay coated something. <laughs> he talked about it. Okay. <laughs> on one of those weird Saturdays that I happened to, to catch it um, lately, he talked about mm -hmm. a clay coated, maybe it's a hardboard. Mm. And that's Could what be. alcoholics worked on. So I was getting it confused with Yupo. Um, but I th oh my goodness, I quoted something. It's gonna be so pretty. So I I reverse embossed this so that all of the alcohol ink would sink down. Oh. Into the holes. Ooh, cool! Oh my goodness, this is gonna what be is so it? pretty. What is it? It is black alcohol ink cardstock. Uh huh. With um, pearl mixative. Um, um, what is that? Intrigue pearl. Uh huh. And silver mixative. My blending solution go. Uh, there's so many fireworks going on outside. Uh, Julie sent you a PM. Okay. I thought, I thought there was some more pictures come in, so let me. So the thought was that it would trap uh, all the the little holes would trap the ink and those would be nice darker spots. I took off my gloves. Mm -hmm. What am I doing? Ah, I don't know. <laughs> all night I have managed to not have yeah, um, ink all over ink you until the very end and then you put, yeah. Oh, so yeah. Did the holes do that? Did the holes work and do that? Oh, yes. I mean, nice. look at this. Um, they're all different colors too. Very cool looking. Like it's separating, it's keeping the colors t intact mm -hmm. and from pooling together. In fact, that is cool. <laughs> it is pretty uh, cool. Let's see here. Glennis. 
Is that something you just colored with alcohol ink? Talk to us, Glennis. Tell us what you did. That's gorgeous. That Oh, that's a piece of metal. I can see the color on it now. Oh, cool. All right. She did a piece of metal. metal. Look at this. I perk up. Metal. I can, yeah, I love that? it. I love oh, is it, it. Like, a, like a metal um, little piece to put on whatever? I wonder how big is it? How big is that, Glennis? That's cool. I can see... I can see the different colors of the alcohol ink. Almost looks like least. a belt buckle. Yeah, 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 it actually does. Okay, and then. My thought also was see. that the pigment would get stuck in the holes. These are also the bonus. Oh! How pretty. It's like a light show. Yeah. Oh, wow, very pretty. Um, look at this. Uh, Glenn is loving that. Is there black in that? That purple and black and, and uh, wow. gold, gold, that looks like a gold alloy that clumps instead of mixes. I love that. I love those metallic spots that you get with the alloy. Mm -hmm. Is that a little bit mm -hmm. of black in there or is that just really dark uh, purple? That might even Very be black in there. Um, don't you get stone paper from Stamperia, Marianne? I do have stone paper. <gasps> she is talking about it uh, and saying it's expensive on Amazon, but maybe she doesn't know that you have it. I do have it, and you're welcome. I, I don't know. How, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what the price is, but it's below retail for sure. <laughs> um, my is there bless. Where did you get what's what's NARA paper? Yeah, I was wondering about that too. Stone but. Paper. Is it like stone paper? Uh, expensive on Amazon. <laughs> filigree. Oh, yeah, yeah the filigree. The uh, half of a playing card. Oh, beautiful dense orange on there. Paper. Dark purple. Yeah, that's really pretty, Glennis. Um, yeah, I didn't even think about trying stone paper. I do have a bunch of stone paper. Yeah, I thought it would be work. so fun for us to all do some. You were going to send me some. Now's the yeah. time. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> really haven't even opened it. Um, so I can try it with alcohol ink. Yeah. Lucy, I if you really need, like this. If you need stone paper, let me know. I'll look up how much it is. I've got a couple different sizes, but yeah, guaranteed below retail for sure. Oh, I love that. That is super pretty. Love that. There's one white one right there. Gotta fix it. <laughs> oh, it it's kind of cool. White. It's kind of cool to have that one white one. You want one red one for like an artistic focal point. There's an artist that started that movement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I kind of like that one white one. I would make one red one just to throw the eye, give it something to focus on. But if everybody else is doing one red one, <laughs> that was long, long ago. Oh, long, long ago. Oh, let's see if that doesn't work. I'll uh, no. figure out what what one color. Yeah. Maybe orange. I but I don't have orange alcohol ink. It's gonna have to be with something else. So Not maybe just some paint. Yeah. That's really cool. The texture kind of reminds me of a golf ball if you use it upside down. Like oh, it doesn't yeah, look like yeah. a golf ball on this side, but look how pretty it is. That is cool. Yeah. Um, but on this side, it's pitted like a golf ball. Julie, didn't I show your? Oh, I, I, I didn't get all the way down. Sorry. Oh. Oh, let's see. Good night, Debbie. Good night, Debbie. Glad you came. So now oh, I think we have like Julie. six people here, don't we? Joel, okay, this is oxide on photo paper. The background is oxide on photo paper. Wow. Wow, Julie, just wow. The background. <gasps> wow. And what is the black? That looks like it's a it's die cut die out cut? and put on. Right. Is that right, Julie? Is it die cut and put on or is it a stencil? On photo That's paper. A I, I, that's a crazy stencil. What did she say? Is it die cut or a stencil? I don't know. Well, I asked her. We got to see what she says. I think it's a die cut. But 
If it was a stencil, that'd be super neat too. Okay, let's see here. Oh, yeah, we didn't see all of Glennis's. I showed you the one. Okay, this one. And then there's this one. Come on. There we go. Oh, or did I show you that one? I love that one. Is so there another pretty. one? Okay, then the next one is Julie's. I think it's a die cut. That's just my... It's a die cut. How oh, did yeah. you get a die cut like that? Mm -hmm. You have a Cricut? Okay. Did wow, I... that's crazy. It's a black black cardstock die cut mm -hmm. with a wood chip windmill. Okay, I see. Did I show Glennis? I think I showed them all. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Dramatic sunset. That is really gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. Um, let's see here. Okay, I'm going to go get one of the ones I did earlier so I can sit and doodle on it, I guess. Oh, I have these doodle. left. Before I doodle. Doodle. Uh, wallpaper, obviously. Um... This one is torn, so I'm torn about whether or not I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. How torn really? are you? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to do the hearts here because I want to sit and doodle those. Mm. Doodle, doodle. Didn't even use all my tools. I had another idea with these. We'll save it maybe for another I, day you know, i didn't even try everything we had out there's just too many things yeah to i know find. and to you know i know like you try this you're like okay that wasn't really great but i see how that can work and i've seen yeah. it work on videos what so I, I gotta do it a few times to get a feel for it yeah and so yeah by the time we do it a few times and what you know um, what each one is for for sure had time to try them all so i totally could do this it's another funny. night to do different we want to try them all in one night <laughs> I, I know it's okay, impossible so by the way i don't, I don't feel like this is finished but this is what i've got so far on the black really pretty on the black i don't really, feel like really on the black so this one i'm gonna hmm. i'm gonna flip it over well no that'll just get the adhesive going Maybe I should stick them down first. No, I didn't do that with the other one. So what I want to do is concentrate color in the center. Ooh, there's lines in the wallpaper and it's following those lines, little teeny tiny lines. Wow. So it almost looks like it's bleeding into those lines. Wow. Okay, it's probably not going to stay like that, but... I want my darkest color in the center though. So I'll keep adding layers. This would be a good one to um, emboss, heat emboss, because mm -hmm. the flowers around it Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess I can leave the lid off. Let's see. And we want to get into some purple this time. And we tried last time and it didn't work. Uh, pool. Um, let's go from the outside in. The silent. Yeah. It's the focus on the projects. 
I like that. Like Glenna says, Sharon's getting tired. What? <laughs> Glenna said, Sharon's getting tired. Why? I don't know. Because I'm moving slower? Because I, I am. Well, because I'm talking about doodling. <laughs> like you're done and you're just ready to doodle now and quit experimenting. Clean up my desk. Yeah. yeah. I've had a rough week. That's all. Yep. Yeah, you yeah. have. It's been a weird one for sure. For and then the fridge broke, Jan, yeah, and it didn't it. help. <laughs> Had a broken fridge, had to deal with all that, move everything. I didn't have the energy to do the things I wanted to do, let alone clean out a fridge. Right. You know. Two friends pass away in the last two weeks. What? One each week. Two friends. Who? Where? Who? Here. It's just been on, a weird couple of weeks. In Utah or on Facebook? Yeah. No, right here. In, Right here by us, friends. Right. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna leave that alone. Wow, I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. It's it's just been a weird, weird period of time in so many ways. Yeah, things have been pretty rough. Right. Apparently, I'm not using the right color here to get the, res the result I want. But this is also not as it's uh, this paper is a little more absorbent. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, red in the center and some blending solution. Let's see what it does. Never know until you try. It's true. Um, let's see here. Put a couple lids on. Bugs me to have the lids off of them even though I know it's okay for a while. And then I should figure out something fun to do with all this stuff on this glass. All right, where is that one that this one the vellum one? Is it the vellum? I think after I go over that Ubo mousse, touch it up with some like some gold. It's a little darker. Oh, the, the longer the vellum has dried, the cooler it looks. Really? Yeah. The vellum Nothing must be thick. It. But I wonder if I put. Let's see. This is just another piece of vellum, just be a little bit thicker. Look at that. Just looks cooler as it dries. It's beautiful. Yeah, I like that one a lot. That reminds me of Arizona stormy skies. Can't believe I'm doing this without gloves. The heck, chaos! I know, honey. Hold on, I gotta. I'll be right back. I'm kind of surprised, but I really like this one a lot too. That copper. Okay. Um, where was the one that I had an idea for it? Where, 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 where has my little dog gone? Well, I don't know. I don't know where that is. But you know what I haven't done? I haven't done any metals. I haven't done, um, well, acetate would probably be a lot like 
the rest of them. But let me do something on this metal and play with this. Some of you guys have done some metals. I have, I have never used them on a metal. Well, I can't say that. I have used um, my alcohol ink pens, markers, alcohol markers on metal. I have done that. And on glass, I have done that. <clears throat> Let's see. You try something right on these, right in the middle. If we want to, but I probably don't want to use the same colors on them, so I don't know. Let me think. Let me think about that for a minute, but let's see. So what do we got here? What have we got? We've got roses and a little bit of vines with them. Um, so we need some really good, put this over here, really good rose color. Let's get rid of that glass as well. Really good rose color. What is a really good rose color? I don't have a super bright red. Why not? Got a bright pink. Let's see, we've got gumball, flamingo, nope, fiesta. What is this? Wild plum. You know what? That's when you take this and said what say what's gonna make a really good red rose. Poppy field, red pepper might make a good rose. Fiesta would probably make a good pink rose, actually with some pink sherbet. A little variation of color there. Um it's kind of got a distressed pinky and black background. How about a black rose? That would look cool with this <laughs> black and pink. Black and Fiesta. Hmm. Might look cool. I don't know. If I don't like it, I can do something else over it, right? You don't like it, you just cover it. All right, let's see what Julie's got here. Oops. Um, oh, okay, those are the dies. Okay, got it. Thank you. Uh, Glynis. I think I got them all. Did I miss a picture? I got that guy. Um, and then the other three. No. I only got one picture from Julie. Okay. All right. Okay. So where is, uh, this may sound weird, but I'm going to try some black and pink. Where's my black? Here's my black. And if I don't like it, I can always cover it with something else. All I have to do is dry it. But I kind of want the black to go down in the grooves and then the pink can be above that. So I'm just going to draw drops here and there. I can do some green over here for the leaves. Come on. I don't want to squeeze it. I just really want the drops to, to fall out. Um, let me see what what I need to catch up on here. I'm way behind on chat. Oops. Oh. It's not going because I have gloves on my fingers. Okay. Oops. Uh, do 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 do. All right. Um, brand for the Australian ties. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, Jan, OG Mother dealt with the same thing here too. Mother and daughter refused vaccine. Both ended up hospital. Mom was on ventilator. Her daughter passed away. Oh my gosh, Jen. Then mom went into a coma and passed. She didn't even know her daughter passed away. Wow. Wow. That is crazy. Hmm. I kind of like the frame the color it is now too. <laughs> See, I just want to play on it. <laughs> That's, uh, I don't know. I like it, but it's metal and it has cool designs. And so it makes me want to play on it. So I'm, I wonder if maybe I should do this with a brush so I could get, what I don't want to do is get um, too much alcohol ink and lose um, lose our the design, the the um, details. Okay, I'm going to do that whole thing black. I don't know. This may not work like it's in my head. If it doesn't, I'll just try something else. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Right, Sharon? What? Right, Sharon? That's right. We love trying new things. I'm going to try it. That's all I'm going to do is try it. It's all we can do. It's all about experiment and play. And you can always spray paint over that if you don't like it. Yeah, I can always put other alcohol ink over it as soon as it's dry. Yeah, it's true, too. If I don't like it. I don't like it. it. Doesn't have to stay. Getting tired? Yeah. It's been a, you know. Yeah, I do. It's been a crazy, rough, busy week for you. And you're about ready to start another one. Yeah. Um, yep. All right. So I guess I'm ditching the gloves. <laughs> I'll use my tape now. Oh, man. Well, my hands are destroyed. So yeah. at this point, it doesn't much matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, that Not moment when you realize you forgot to put your gloves back on and now it doesn't matter. Late. Yep. Yeah. Too late. Um, let's see. So we never did get around to trying the nail polish remover, but I'll do that independently oh, yeah. because okay. I'm not going to use it on photo paper. Yeah, um, I don't know how that works on what I am going to use my mix of uh, hand sanitizer and maybe I'll do the drippy one and alcohol oh. rubbing mm -hmm. uh, isopropyl alcohol here. So. Because this is a stencil I haven't tried yet. Mm. So I want to play with this stencil before I get to coloring. Ooh, I'm excited to see if that continued to crackle. Oh, yeah. That'll be fun. Okay. I need new colors. I'm already bored with these ones. That's my problem now. Yeah. See, you just need a lot of colors. It's... It's not that you don't like those. It's just that you need it a lot. You have to have a variety. Bored with them. Yep. Sailboat blue. Mm -hmm. I do like that new one. The, um, yeah. This one looks like prize ribbon blue to me. I picture prize ribbon blue richer, deeper, brighter, like electric blue. Like this. That's a pretty good one. That sailboat is a good one. That's for sure. And this is where I'm going to compare it to pool and use it Ooh, from the other. 
There are slightly what? different color. Pool is a good one too. Pool, I think, is probably my favorite one so far because it's it's very turquoise, very mm -hmm. very. Look at that. Turquoise is probably the most teal one that we have. You're saying turquoise is teal? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, if you want teal, use turquoise. It's it's a it's very teal, a very teal look. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're talking about nouveau mousse. Were you part of that? I love uh, nouveau no. mousse. I do. Oh, that'll be a whole nother night experimenting with yeah. nouveau. Yeah. No, oh, I wish that wasn't happening. I don't know why I'm yawning. Not really sure. You'd think that red and blue would make purple, but it doesn't seem to in a, via alcohol mm -hmm. ink. Interesting. I don't know why. It's the pink and the blue that really made the kind of a lavendery color, but not mm -hmm. the pearl. Not however, pearl, purple that you no. want. No. Mixative or the alchemy. Mm. I, so my paper rippled anyway. Um, mm. I taped it down and the tape just got wet and it gave Aww. up. The tape gave out early. Yeah. <laughs> Painted when it's turned over. Ooh. Sorry. The okay. gold going out around the um, around the where it's raised from the uh -huh. oh it looks so good it's getting down in all the the other surfaces like the flat the, the lower surface mm -hmm. how's that I can't words I can't words I can't word tonight <laughs> uh -uh. anymore I'm out of word. I only talk to my dogs lately, so. <laughs> I'm out of word. I can't talk tonight. Uh, I can't word tonight. That's just enough. I have, I have no word. I have no word left. Yeah, I could just paint this black, and then I could totally just highlight it with Nouveau Mousse. I you totally could. could do that. And it would look very cool. However, because we are experimenting with alcohol inks tonight... I am going to experiment with alcohol inks on this, on this very surface um, frame. <laughs> yeah. Word. Word. <laughs> Word. <laughs> I do that when we're talking on the phone, guys. She and I'll be on the phone, and I'll be and I'll be having a hard time getting it out, and I'll just say word. <laughs> like line, give me my line. <laughs> Word. Line, please. <laughs> yeah. No, there's this line. <laughs> Word. <laughs> All righty. Ooh. I don't know if that's dry. That's magic. It almost looks like tie-dye. I'm going to show up on there. Bubble. 
I'm quitting there because I like it. It does look cool. A little bit right here. Okay. Good night, Jen. Thank you for coming. Talk to you oh, later. Something Good night, Tina. Good night, Tina. Yeah, get some sleep. <laughs> I liked it too, Lucy. I just felt like um, I need to uh, stretch and try something different with alcohol inks. And if I don't like it, I know I can paint over it and use Nouveau Mousse, which I'm sure I will like. I'm pretty sure I just got that on my face. <laughs> not good. <laughs> it's not good. I'm going to try gold on here. Ooh. Now. Ooh, ooh. This gold. All right, this might end up being a super cool look. Check that out. Not there. I'm going to have to do a little bit of some kind of a green for those leaves so they're not just this. All right, you probably can't see. It's probably too far away. But that's okay. We'll wait till I'm done. Should have taken a picture of it before so I could see how much, if I really like it, how much I like it more. Lucy, I hope, yeah, I hope this turns out. You'll have to tell me what you think. I am i didn't uh, paint it to begin with, so I am not offended if you liked it better the way it was. I totally understand that. But I do like um, I do like opinions. I do like hearing other people's opinions and thoughts about it. What if you did this? What if you did that? And maybe that looks kind of cool. But what if you added this or added that? It just needs another step or two. Where's my lid? Sometimes that's the case. Needs another step or two. Lid. Uh oh. I hate when that happens. Well, I don't understand. It had to have fallen on the floor, and that's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's a start. Not uh, not done yet, but there's a start. Can you see it at all? No, it's not going to show up on the... It is not going to show up. Seriously, I don't know where it went. Nope, not going to show up, so that's okay. I'll just keep going. Okay. Um, I guess I'll find it when I'm cleaning up my desk. Yeah. It's not on the floor, which really? I vacuumed three days ago. I mean, it's not bad. It's not terrible. But it's also a clear lid. So, you know. Oh, shoot. Yeah. It's dark under my desk. And then we also have somebody that could have taken off with it. Couple somebody's actually. That's true, Lucy. I can always rewind the video to see the before. I can do that. Oh. I could rewind the video to find my lid. <laughs> that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Interesting. Still no lid. Seriously? I think I really like the way the foil turned out on, on with the alcohol ink tonight. Yeah. Um, I think I'm really happy about that. I'm not happy that my lid is lost, but, um, you know. Right. <laughs> 
yeah. I'm still looking for it. Well, well, I'm talking. Either. Um, I think this is going to be really cool when it's dry too. Like it's going to change a little bit more. Oh yeah. I love how they change as they dry and the more they dry, the yeah. more they change. I am really yeah. loving that. This looks like a shirt I would wear. <laughs> Can you hear those fireworks? Yep. My neighbors. I hope poor Lucy isn't just wigging out in there with Doug trying That's to sleep. Fun. It's the boys' two houses down. Like that one. Mm, I got too much. Just got the haven't decided what this needs, so I haven't done anything to it yet. Oh. oh. There's something happening here. Oh. Set this back over here. I'm gonna grab something that's over dry. Okay. Need to get a smaller brush and get the black back in where it needs to be. Oh, my eyes are starting to get tired. <clears throat> clean this up first. Okay. Hoping my lid shows up. I don't understand where it would go. Yeah, that's a little nuts. I don't see it on the floor. I mean, it's not on the floor. Hmm. That's weird. Did you take off my lid, girl? Yeah, where else would it go if it wasn't on the floor? Did it get land on your lap and get caught on your clothes or your shoe or no. foot, toes? Might have hmm. got kicked into my trash can. Let me look. Mm -hmm. Usually I empty it before we start, um, but I did not do that tonight. I usually empty it because so and so likes to get in it while I'm and eat mm -hmm. my trash, my paper while mm -hmm. I'm working. Yeah. Chaos. Let me let me say so and so is chaos. I uh, figured. <laughs> um, Mayhem's usually my paper eater. Chaos just started eating paper for some reason. She d never did that before, and all of a sudden she's doing weird things that she's never oh. done before. Oh, what'd you do? She's dropping things. Hmm. I am not going to waste this ink and clean it off. I'm going to wait until I want to play with these. And oh, yeah. That'll last it. on that. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Kind of upset by the alcohol lift ink. And you know, the craft uh, plastic that I ordered just for this that doesn't seem to work. Hmm. But is Probably, it different? It seems thickness? like it's, yes, I would say it seems like it's so thin that it's more vellum like than, than Yuba like. Yeah. I swear I ordered the same brand. Or maybe that was the note I took about that brand 
when I watched that video. I I don't think so though. I think that's the brand I ordered. I'm gonna have to go back and look on my Amazon in my Amazon cart. Did it go through? Look at that. These make a good match. Check it out. Thank you. Yeah. Let's see. So that will forever be my um, uh, alcohol ink mat right there. Uh, oh my God! You want to see where I put my lid or where it where it landed? I didn't put where, it there. Do you where? see this? <laughs> it's on my buffer. I it's see on, that, and it fits perfectly on my buffer. You might have. Oh put it on my there. goodness! Are you, you were not paying attention. I might have. You might have. This was a brand new puffer. Look at this. I destroyed it tonight. Yeah. Well, it's your alcohol <laughs> puffer. It is. It's going to be messy. I cannot believe it was there. That's hilarious. I'm glad it's, I found it. Um, and it's yeah, not clear. Put, it's black. Have you ever put something in the fridge like your keys or, you know. Mm, last week when mom came over, I found uh -huh. some, I had uh, offered her some juice to try. And after she left, I looked all over for that juice. Every everywhere looked everywhere couldn't find it hours later i go to get a glass out of the cabinet she stuck the juice in the cabinet <laughs> so i took a picture of it and i sent it to her and she said did i do that you know like That's yes funny. yes mom. yeah it was, it was pretty funny yeah. See? Yeah. <laughs> okay so the alcohol inks don't bring a lot of color on here i'm getting a little bit better color with the alcohol pens than the ink something um looking at it up close i can see the color on here um but it's still not very um i'm gonna wrong. pour a little alcohol in here in my little watercolor thing actually i can put it in here i'm gonna try something oh try 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 <laughs> there is no try, only do or do not. Yes, Yoda. <laughs> That's kind of been my theme all my life. If you're going to try, just do it. If I don't, you're not uh, going to. Okay, try and see if it works. How's that? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you very that's much. True. That's no, that's true. In that, yeah, sorry. I was totally taking it a different context. Tired. Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I need a paper towel. <clears throat> Yeah. Helps if it's uh, level, but you know. Mm -hmm. Ooh. What's up? Mm -hmm. I said something's happening. What? Hold on, and I'll, I'll uh, I can't do two things at once right now because my brain is turning off. So, hold mm -hmm. on just a sec. I'll tell you. I'll show you. So I was, I pulled the toothbrush out to get a texture, you know, like to. Right press into with alcohol or whatever mm -hmm. um and to splatter with you know right. um, and it worked um but look what ha it's like that dendric uh uh i i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that i might have to pull it up oh yeah, on, yeah I can uh, see it. the little teeny yes. tiny lines the veins uh -huh. the where uh -huh. it out um that started happening 
with the alcohol that cooled there. Oh. And now it's making itself visible all along the edge. Wow. It's happening on this side. Okay. But it also, you know, I splattered and pulled up mm -hmm. some. So there's little more, there's some white spots. There's some, I don't want to ruin this, but I want to see this. Can't hurt. It's true. Don't want it to eat the paper. Don't want it to eat the paper. And I don't want it to melt my brush either. Um, you could probably put blending solution in a water brush. Just a thought. Mm, I don't uh, know if I would. It, that resin might clog. Melt, uh, but the water brush as it comes out. Oh, uh, I don't mean I don't mean blending solution. I'm sorry. Um, um, uh, alcohol. alcohol for sure. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, I didn't put enough in there. Come on. I want to see what happens. It evaporates so fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's working. Where I touched it, it took it off completely. Nice. Of course, it could eat the paper. Who knows? <laughs> Unfortunately, I also have alcohol on this brush. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting a, I'm not getting a pure test here. Right. Okay. Let's see. Just right. like it. Oops. Where's that metal? Oops. Don't run over it. Kind of smells good. Uh, let's see. Here. I love this embossing folder. Yeah. I'll show you why in just a sec. Where's the net? We're really hungry. <laughs> Julie said, had so much fun not and not for not getting anything on my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're glad you were here. Well, we're glad, glad you had fun. We would love, have loved for you to get it on your fingers with us, but you can try it on your own. We'd still love to see your pictures. Sorry, I was reading while you, um, they said I was blurry again. And it's not showing up blurry on my end. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Julie said, not her, me. She was being uh, sarcastic about my fingers, I guess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> not having anything on him. Go the whole night, keep them nice and clean in the very end. That's right. Don't forget to put your gloves back on and look what happens. Oh, yes, look at that. I'm having to get this thing out of the glare of the light so that I can see. Oh.
I love this process where you, I, because I'm such a texture person. So feeling all the texture while I mm -hmm. very satisfactorily add gold to it. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, it's just so satisfying in every way. The only mm -hmm. note it isn't hitting is chocolate in my mouth. <laughs> but you can put that in <laughs> while you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's amazing to That's awesome. feel that and get the visual satisfaction mm -hmm. when it pops like that. Okay. <laughs> Julie said cheeky me about herself. <laughs> 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 little monkey <laughs> oh it's so satisfying I don't know when I turned into monkey. oh what's her name in the giant recliner or rocking chair oh. Oh. Hello, my you know what oh. Oh. oh, Lily Tomlin, but who, who, what's her name, her character? Hmm. Where she's sitting in the giant. Uh, oh, uh, oh, she's a little kid. In the giant yes. Chair. Yes. Oh, I don't think you sounded like a little kid. Oh, come on. I oh. didn't mean to resort to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. Look at that. There are only four people here. You know the worst part about that? We are two of those people. <laughs> so who is here? Raise your hand. We have Julie. Yeah. You know what? I don't even care because I'm just having a good yeah, time playing with alcohol. Julie is the only comments I'm seeing. Wow, to Julie. To bed. You are devoted. Well, they probably went off to, I don't know. I don't know what. Um, look at that. Look at that. And let me get the glare off there. Awesome. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. Ah, it really is. Okay. I don't know if you can even uh, see any of these. Colors. Anne. <laughs> Lucy's here. <laughs> Julie's Lucy here. Julie. <laughs> There's our two. Edith Ann. Would that be uh uh oh is Lily's character? Okay, thank you. Thank you so oh, much. Yeah. Uh, I think it's not done yet, but I don't, I don't know if that picture is showing, showing up at all. It's getting there. Oh, I love it so much. Okay. Now, <laughs> same here. I don't know why I put that away. Just want to, I can hear an echo again. It's pretty late or it's pretty uh, delayed too. I don't hear it. Showing up there. I don't hear the echo now. And... Yeah, Nouveau Mousse goes so smoothly over foil. Doesn't take mm -hmm. much. Because no, it's so non porous and smooth. Mm -hmm. oh, I was going to try alcohol ink on foil. I'm curious now. This is the one that wasn't my foe. Oh, I, 
Okay. I just love these ones. The ones where the underside is amazing. Yeah. Ah! Sorry, I'm getting really yeah. excited here, but look at that. Oopsie. Glennis is using a felt thing. Glennis is here. So Glennis, Lucy, Julie, and you and me, that makes five actually. So <laughs> maybe you and I don't count. Maybe you and I only count as one. Well, I no, I don't have YouTube on. Sorry. I don't maybe either. You, oh, well then we don't count. We're oh, in okay. StreamYard. We're not in YouTube. So somebody's hiding. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Somebody's out there. I know they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. <laughs> so, Julie, Glennis, Lucy. Uh, put water in this. Mm. Um, yeah, you and I don't count unless we have. Unless we're YouTube on YouTube. Open yeah. on, our, on our other device. So, YouTube is not registering that we're watching it anymore. So, we actually should go back in and uh, turn them on while we're cleaning or something. <laughs> right. Well, I never. I, uh, I never had it on. I always am, am a number, always, because I always had it on. Right. And it would count. Yeah. Did anybody do thumbs up tonight? Oh, I I forget when we don't have it in front of us. I know. So I ask. Oh. Me too. Hey, yes. maybe the three of you can. <laughs> maybe the four of you can do thumbs up. A hundred <laughs> times. Does that sound well, fair? <laughs> Whoever's not really watching but is really watching out there, maybe you can do a thumbs up. All right, I need, 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 let's see, need a little alcohol to clean this. All right, I, at risk of ruining this, I don't think I want to do anything. It's 11 o'clock. I know, it's yeah. chaos, stop it. You really just so went late. down. She's, I think she, she's not feeling good. And she's basically telling me I want to go to bed, Right. <laughs> but I can't go down unless you go down lady. So well, you, can, yeah. uh -huh. you can go down. Daddy's down there. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can go hang out with him. She's old and set in her ways. Yeah. And she, I, I think she feels like she has to stay and protect me. So she, it's, it's like we have a tether. Oh, that's weird. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's like she's connected to me. Right. Yeah. It's pretty nutty. Hmm. What else do I have here? I love that. Mm. What are you eating? Um, I'm eating a breakfast cookie. Cool. And these, oh my goodness, that's just mm. pretty. I'm going to, I'll take pictures and share them because they are not, I they're not showing up on camera the way they look yeah. in person. They never do. No, they're amazing. think what I'm going to do is cut this up. Let's see how that looks. I can't clean up my desk any further. I just don't have the brain power <laughs> for it. Yeah. Usually, you know, I do that and I'm just like Bleh, right now. Well, I can't. I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow. So, how about you guys? You guys all ready to go to bed? Except Julie. Oh, poor Julie. <laughs> and Glennis. Glennis is probably going to be up for a while, huh? Yeah, that's true. Although we might have worn her out today. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you guys had your sale today, so she probably is. Yeah, she got a nap. Aren't you, Glennis? <clears throat> depends if she got a nap after or not. Oh, 
so many good moments on this, on yeah. this uh, piece of paper here. Um, mm -hmm. I am tickled with, I mean, every square is going to look a little bit different to my eye. Um, because of all of the marbling and the color. And yeah. Oh, yeah. They, I think they will look different because the paper isn't consistent in anything. Yeah. I mean, Love look that. at that. Love that. Oh, that's going to be so neat. Yeah. And this one looks oxidized. Oh, yeah. That was because I splattered a little mineral over it. Oh, yeah. Mm. It looks oxidized. Okay, that's that, that's amazing. I'm going to put that one aside. Hmm. All right, can no, you see yeah. these little it all down here? This whole row looks super rusty. Cool. But you see that horse? What is what the bottom of him? I don't know if you guys can see that. He looks rusty. Chaos, no. Leave me alone. Go. Go see daddy. Go see daddy or I'll give you a bath. You yeah. hate baths. With the spray gun. <laughs> I have it in front of me because I was spraying her. She doesn't seem to care right now. She's in a lot of pain. That's funny. Can you see chat? Um, I don't want okay. to ignore it. Are two only two friends, three friends in the world okay. that are here. <laughs> only fifteen on minute three wired. I don't. Uh oh, that's weird. Especially since you are blurry. Okay, I'm gonna have to scooch up there. Hold on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Julie said. They all went to bed. 15 thumbs up. That's awesome. Uh, Sharon, those hearts need to be seen from both sides, Julie said. I already thumbed up, Julie said. I see 16. Only 15 on minute three. Weird, Julie said. Uh, or Lucy said. Uh, oh, that's weird. Especially since you are blurry. I, um, let's see. Give a thumbs up for being blurry. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what minute minute three is. Good night, Glennis. Thank you. Good night, Glennis. Sleep well. Yes. No. Um. No. Do you see me here with my squirt, my my water, my sprayer? She doesn't care. She just doesn't care. Okay, let's go see Daddy. Go on. Go on. She's not going to, but. You know, I'm stalling. I'm delaying. The inevitable. Well, we can go anytime you're ready. I'm just, this is going to take a while, so. Oh, gosh. My eyes are getting blurry. I'm not really seeing these fine oh, details. Oh, no. So, well, it just means I'm tired. And apparently I am blurry, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, You're well. seeing blurry. I am blurry. But I'm not seeing you blurry because I'm not. You're not? You. Good. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not looking at you. Man, these know. are cool. I really Could like this um, embossing. Could be, but I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. Let's go in my script bucket. Hmm. All right. Oopsie. Knocking things over. So I'm going to. Oh, here, Chaos. She's mad at me because I didn't give her a bite of my cookie. That's why she's oh. growling at me. She's saying, hey, we need to go downstairs now and get more of those cookies because you didn't give me a bite. <laughs> That's what that was. Yeah, I just realized it. 
just dawned on me. Probably. Mm-hmm. Because she's a stinker. <laughs> she's a dirty fig picker. <laughs> <laughs> I like the first time when you accidentally said pig ficker. <laughs> that made it better, didn't it? Yes, it did. The <laughs> you are the official pig ficker. <laughs> I can't it's funnier pig. when you say it. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh, when we start getting tired and punchy. <laughs> Pig ficker. I'm going to call Doug a pig ficker and he's going to say, what? And I'm going to tell him, you asked Sharon. Uh, <laughs> I can't even tell if that one got... Oh, Lucy wow. said that was supposed to be hers and weird, not three minutes, whatever, <laughs> whatever it was. <laughs> no idea what it was, but what was yeah. it supposed to be? I, I don't remember. It was, I've, I've blinked since then. So I, I don't remember. It was something about how many likes there were. Oh, <laughs> Oh, I love these so much. I'm so glad that you came out with something from Alcohol Night that um, Alcohol Night. <laughs> <laughs> that night we got drunk. Yeah, uh, <laughs> apparently <laughs> uh, every night about 11 o'clock. <laughs> mm. <laughs> punch drunk. Yeah. No, I'm so glad you came out of alcohol experimentation with something that you really love. Seriously, I I can see so many things to use these for mm -hmm. um, in mixed media uh, assemblage. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like the things I make for Bill for our anniversary usually mm -hmm. those kind of things. That's what this is perfect for. Oh yeah, this would have been really cool as a background inside that tin. Yeah, it would have. It would have been really cool. Well, and I made a cool background, but I ended up using yeah. embossing powder in different colors and um, uh, newsprint. Ready to go. Ready but to go. this would have cool. been, yeah, yeah. This is very similar. And it even yeah. has texture. Some yeah. cinnamon on there, and you've really got a grungy patina, like a rusty textured, extra texture, like, you know, mm -hmm. oxidizing. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, and then this one is just so special. I think I just really like this right yeah. now, though. Yeah, I do too. Um, and then this the colors. One. I like the writing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's that's that raised paste stencil. And then this one, totally a mistake, just laying it down and running my brayer over it. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it's like uh, I made a stamp out of that stencil. Mm -hmm. Oh. Don't you love that sound? Yes. yes. Really? I'm kidding. I. <laughs> Because it means it's the sound of fun, of squeaky markers. Oh, it is art. the sound of fun. You're right. Or a mouse in the kitchen. <laughs> mouse is going to die. And this one isn't terrible. Also, I could see doing a box top with this. Like, you could do a whole, cover a whole box with these. And it mm -hmm. looks like some beautiful tin. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Not that I wouldn't do a box with this, but this would be for my own personal use. Yeah. I did get some cool ones. Okay. Really so, yeah. 
All right, let me see if I can white ink this now. White and black. And black. I, there was something I was going to do earlier. I just don't want to drag it all out again. I was going to use a cap. That's why I got two of the same size just about. And if I run ink around the edge of it, it will actually pool right there um, and make a ring. Okay. So let's try it. Let's do it with a brown right. one first. Just in case I don't like it. it then it's brown and it's not going to hurt. Yeah. Um, I mean, because I can't hate brown. I mean. <laughs> All right. I'm ah! where I can't see straight. My only eyes if you break, do it right. Which means I'm not going to do this how I want it. I don't know. Can you see it at all? You can't. You can't really see the what the color is at all. Hold on just a sec. Get that there. Okay. Show me now. Oh, it looks beautiful. Can you see it at all? I, it's yeah, it's totally really hard to more tell. highlighted that rose. Hi, Cheryl. Uh, I don't know that they're Cheryl. done yet, but it's um. Hi, Cheryl. Well, she changed her. It's nursing is yes. a work of heart. Oh, yes. that's awesome. Lucy, are you still here? What do you think? You can see that. Yeah, I really colors. see that. Cool. Yeah, I don't know that I'm done, but I can't see straight right now. My eyeballs are tired, so they're getting real blurry. So I can't. Um, I'm anxious to take a picture and see how it looks because I'm having. A, I'm looking at my at my computer and I'm having a really hard time seeing. Yeah, that's it's probably the best. Here. Girl, my eyes are tired. I don't feel tired, but yes. my, eyes, my eyes are tired because they're, eyes are very they're, tired. They're just blurry. They go, they just, they shut down and go blurry when I'm really so tired. I'm going to, when I get more colors, I'm planning on doing like a, a palette for these. Um, after I figure out if I want to, if I see myself using them in palette form in the future. Mm -hmm. um, so that might be for another day. I, if I can come up with another way to make a palette for us where we're not spending the money, but they're not very expensive. So um, what do you mean? The, the alcohol ink palette, the Tim Holtz alcohol ink palette. What do you mean palette? Oh, there's a palette. Um, it comes empty, blank, like empty. And you add your alcohol inks to each space. And then you use a little blending solution um, to move them again. And you can paint with them and stuff. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. So it does, it's not big enough to hold all of them, is it? Yeah. I think, is it? Yep, it's huge. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I'd use it's that. It's really flat. It doesn't have falling. a lot. You just put it up in it, and that's it. It would also be a way to make yourself a, uh, 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 swatches. I, I mean, it looks like a great way to swatch them. If you had the right. colors on there, then you're looking at this palette, and you can see what the colors are. Mm -hmm. Just a thought. They don't have to be, you know, like on cards yeah. that way that they could literally uh, be I like this it's all on one page one right there it's, it's super easy yeah I pulled it out a number of times today to see what the true color of something is oh yeah I, I think I would totally use that yeah that I would use the palette um like I just put down you know a drop of stuff here and I've just been um dipping my brush into right there to use it but then there's still some sitting there. I would use a palette for that and just leave it there and reactivate it when I come back. And um, a white, this white uh, china dish works great for that kind of thing. I wonder. 
Okay, I'm not finished with this, but I'm going to have to move it over. And when my, ooh, got the debossed and the embossed side of this. <clears throat> Chaos, no. <clears throat> no, don't do it. Don't do it, girl. Okay. I'm telling her. Put through two drops of indigo on this. Let's see. This is almost out of alcohol. A little bit of alcohol. I need to fill this up, actually. Let me do that right here. Right now. Just as well. Just do it right over my trash can. So if I happen to overfill or spill a little, it evaporates so quickly. All right. That's cool. That looks really nice. You did um, come up with some cool things tonight. I think some no. of our exper experiments turned out really, really well. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a, it's a water bottle cap. That's all. Um, yeah. So that's camping, that's the only reason why we have water bottles around. We don't usually use them. Yep. But he went camping and without me bought a whole thing of multiple bottles. So <laughs> I, I feel like I have a water bottle them. cap. Yeah, water yeah. bottle cap or, or the cap to your ink. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. it is one of those. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see. Get this to run around here and all the or yeah or making custom colors yeah for sure yeah oh That's yeah um <laughs> thank you cheryl she said she's in awe of us because she can never figure out how we see these creative ideas and make them come to life yeah <laughs> well, well as long as you continue to do them with us then we're thrilled if we see them and nobody has them with us, then Wait. no. Hmm? Hold on, I'm counting. One, two, three. No, there's not 36. What are you talking about, Lucy? Lucy said, I think there's 36 circles. Is that how many times I put the cap down that it didn't work? <laughs> there are also some really cool circles happening right here. And I think that is, I'm not sure what that's from exactly. I know it's not from that um, stencil because there are no, there's not a row of holes in that stencil. That's really weird. It's just marvelous. I can't be mad at it. Really? Really? <clears throat> Okay, this is See, actually, the back, this is actually the back of this metal thing. It was the debossed side. No, is that the embossed side? Uh, now I'm hearing that echo. I'm hearing that echo. Mm. Oh, the swatch sheet. <laughs> Lucy said, I think there are 26 or, or 36 circles. And here I am counting these circles because I was making these circles. I was like, no, there's not. Oh, that's hilarious. He's talking about the palette. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it is. Thank you. I needed that. <laughs> that was, yeah. I really Laugh and laugh. <laughs> Yeah, stop. Curious about something. Okay, mm. what color goes really great with <laughs> indigo? Indigo blue. Orange. Mm -hmm. Any Maybe. shade of orange. Maybe. Really? Opposite on the color wheel, and blue and orange go together. Orange just isn't my they favorite. They complement each other. Okay. 
Hmm. What else would you put with blue? <laughs> All right. I'll use orange. I'll use Valencia. Oh, that sounds wonderful. That Valencia orange sounds really good right now. I right. really want um, that uh, snow uh, snow cap. Um, snow cap. Mix it in the in the two ounce bottle. Oh yeah. 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 I want it in a larger because I feel like it stretches all the other colors because you can make mm. a pastel version of them with a white undertone. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really want it. And so that'll be next on my list, actually. Chaos, no more. That is enough. You just want me to go downstairs. I'm not stupid. Oh, there's a cookie here. Have that. I keep a box up here now of hers, yeah. not mine, yeah. hers. <laughs> mine, I have a few in the freezer, like mint ones, mm -hmm. but I keep them in the freezer for a reason. I They're not as handy. They do, I don't think to go mm -hmm. there very often. And when I do, I want it to be refreshing. And, you know, I'm mm -hmm. only having one, so it better be special. You know? right. Yeah. <laughs> One of those special ice cold cookies, you know, because we all need that. Exactly. That special ice cold There's certain cookie. cookies that are great frozen. What's that? There are certain cookies that are great frozen. They're, they're like the Thin Mints, Dollar Tree oh, kind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Good mm -hmm. in the freezer. Well, I like York a lot in the freezer Peppermint actually bag. like the we've talked yeah. about the cheaper version of those that are way better um mm -hmm. i i i way prefer the cheaper version but yeah you know hmm. it makes little marks and oil if you draw with the tip and then it'll end up in there in those little grooves because it's foil, you know, it makes a little, even though I pressed it down, it makes mm -hmm. a little indent. That wasn't what I was intending to do. I just wanted to do this. Mm -hmm. Checking that alcohol lifting one more time. Darn it. Quit touching the foil. <laughs> quit touching the foil. Quit <laughs> touching the foil. Are you okay, Chaos? Did you get into something? Do you uh, hear her? Yeah, I do. Sneezing? Sneezing. Uh -huh. My own version of orange. That's right. Oh, Hello. my goodness. What did you get into? Oh, that's Mayhem. He's been sneezing for 24 hours. He went outside oh. last night, and he got into something. We don't know what. And he came in and uh -huh. sneezed about 200 times. It was for a long time and he went in and woke Bill up and sneezing. I thought it, he, I thought it quit. And he was like, what is wrong with mayhem? You know, he comes out and mayhem was still sneezing. And then he sneezed for another half hour. Seriously. I was looking up his nose. He wouldn't hold still to let oh, me i didn't i still and he's still sneezing i feel like he got dirt up there or something or a oh, bug yeah. crawled up there you know mm, yeah <sighs> poor baby yeah uh, i mean what else is going to cause that outside i don't know lucy did that for uh, and it lasted a couple of days and then it went away A bot fly larva from a kitten's nose? Grass no. and grass seed. <laughs> um, I could see a grass seed like from around the edge of the yard. Like a but I don't see anything in there. And he sneezed so many times he should have snuck out by now. My brother mm -hmm. stuck cherry seed. And by the time the ambulance got there, he cried out that cherry seed. I mean, <laughs> your body creates mucus, pushes it on out, right? right. So I don't understand why, why, um, I just don't get it. I don't get it. 
why it wouldn't be out already unless it's stuck like up in there but it should be sticking out he won't let me get anywhere near his nose right i've tried to massage his snout to push out whatever was in there i cried mm -hmm. i don't know i have no idea cheryl you're the nurse what is it <laughs> what is it like you know my dog what is it My sound was choppy. Hmm. I'm about to have to put down my other dog. The thought of having to take Mayhem to the vet right now because there's a grass seed lodged in his sinuses sounds terrible to me. Oh, right. And unaffordable at this point yeah. because the other one is about to get put down. Mm. Oh, it's so sad. The whole thing yeah. is sad. I don't like it. Mm. I don't like it. It is sad. It makes me sad. Me too. Yeah. Me too. And then there's that going. And there's that. There's so many. One more thing. Yes. Too many is. things going on. Yeah. That's the truth. I about forgot all about that one. Oh. <sighs> What did I do? Okay, guys, where did I put? There it is. Um, I think it's <laughs> waiting I think to ask where way, I put it. Way beyond time. Why we um, are. I was just waiting on you. Oh. I'm just <laughs> fooling around. <laughs> so am I. I'm just fooling around with this piece of metal. Uh, finally, I'm like, oh, you know what? We, we My eyes are closing. We got to go. It works on the foil, the alcohol lifting. However, it doesn't give a clear image. It just keeps spreading because it's foil, mm. you know. Okay. Hmm. And it also yeah. is very sticky. Hmm. Okay. That's gross. Come on off there. Come on off there. There we go now. Julie's telling us go to bed. I know. We need to. Yeah, the lift doesn't work until you blot it away. You do know that. Yeah, it's just spreading on the foil, though. Oh, oh. It's not the same. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Yeah. That would make sense. Oh, okay. All right, I suppose. All right, well, I'll get some pictures up. Together. Can you guys uh, share your pictures so we can see? That would be great. Let's share it with the group and um, 